Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new season of Court of Swords, where this guy is sick, so he's not here today, but we're all, everyone else is here. Eve, hold on, Zeke, Zeke, you got, you got some sand in your hair still, you need to. Oh, it's, it's, it's dust, it's not sand. I was going to say, I was going oh, to say, uh, technically it's dust. Okay, it's, I'm sorry. It's, it's, way, no, it, it's way worse <laughs> than sand. Sand you can, like, wipe off or clean up from. The, that dust, it'll be on Zeke till the day he dies. He will take it to the grave. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's picture. Okay, picture the difference between uh, like sand from an hourglass. You know, it's really fine. It's nice. And then picture chalk dust. Like that's what yeah. playa dust is. It's chalk dust, except it's also extremely acidic and terrible for everything that it touches. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you're back. Yeah. At, yes, look, I am back. I was saying last week, I didn't know if you were going to make it. You know, you were, we didn't. I'm I, a tough guy. Did, uh, did, did, <laughs> you get, <laughs> did you get in the brawling ring? Did you brawl? It does really test your metal, though, I'll tell you that. Did I get in the, did I get in the Thunderdome? No, the funny thing was, funny thing is, uh, the camp that I was at called Costume Cult, their New York-based camp, Okay. right next door to Death Guild, which runs the Thunderdome. Okay. So we were right next to them. All the time. And it was just like, as soon as the sun goes down, you're hearing like, rah, like cheers. And it was, it was amazing. I never did get in there. Bye. Yeah, okay. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good story, Zeke. Anyways. Yeah. Continue on. Continue on. <laughs> story, bro, is that a hint? Are you giving me the, give me the light like your time's up? Not at all. Not at all. Please continue. Sorry. Uh, no, I, I never did get in the Thunderdome um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, People are, people are scared, I guess. No one wants to get in the fucking Thunderdome with me. And I had a couple of people who online were like, I'll, I was like, come find me at Costume Cult. Just ask for me. I'll come out and we'll, we'll make a schedule. We'll do that. And, you, and the way you get in, like if you really want to get into Thunderdome, you bribe them with whiskey. <laughs> like You bring like a <laughs> bottle of whiskey and you bribe, <laughs> you bribe your way into the front of the line. Oh, and depending God. on how good the whiskey is, that how, that's how far you get into the front of the line. So I brought some whiskey with me with which to bribe them. Um, and, uh, but no one, no one wanted to do it. No one from my camp for sure. Like costume people, like pff, no one, none of those guys wanted to do Thunderdome with me. So I was like waiting for someone to come find me and no one did, but that was the first two days just of waiting. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to go by myself. Uh, and someone, someone I'll fight whoever. Yeah. Um, but that very night, uh, they had this art installation that was that kind of looked like kind of looked like an arachnid, like a spider-ish kind of a shape. It was like, I don't know, 15 feet tall, made out of wood, but it had a slide, like an actual, like a, like a, just a metal slide going down the back. So you climb up on this arachnid's back and then you just slide down the back. Well, things happen out on the playa <laughs> and sometimes you imbibe or ingest things and you make silly choices. And my silly choice, like right out the gate, was to uh, go down the slide with my eyes closed. Mm-mm. Bad plan. Because that slide, you, and I haven't gone down it before, so I don't know how fast it went. That slide went fast. <laughs> and I went, phew, up, and straight fucking down on my tailbone. Oh. And, and I am, uh-oh. I got a, I got a donut. You can't, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, I got a little tailbone donut that I'm Jesus. sitting on right now because I really mashed that fucker good. <laughs> so yeah, I, that, that was, that was a good, good start. Like it didn't hurt standing, walking, but riding a bicycle, sitting down on the, on the seat. Mm -mm, that was bad. <laughs> so for the rest of the trip, it was like, you're either walking or riding, standing up. <laughs> like you're not, and you're not doing a lot of sitting. Man. So that sucked right away. Uh, but it, I mean, it was, it's not like it wasn't so bad that it was like debilitating, but it was definitely like, you know, if you've ever sat down hard on your tailbone and bruised it, it fucking hurts. Oh yeah, man. But it's, it's not like it wasn't something where I was like, I gotta, I gotta leave. So, but that was like right out, like right out the gate, two days into the burn. I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound but, fun. Uh, that's why I didn't get in Thunderdome this time, but for sure. Like I said last year, for sure, next time, I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. The funny thing is, the next the next day, I talked to someone who actually uh, went in there, 
uh, she and a friend of hers went into the Thunderdome. And uh, it's it's just like the real like the real Thunderdome where they get you in like these harnesses that are like elastic and shit. And they pull you back and then they fling you together. Uh, the person she was fighting against, like he held his knee up and kneed her right in the rib and just cracked her rib. <laughs> so that shit is dangerous. And listen, when I when if anyone described Burning Man as like adult playland. That's exactly what it is. It's like all the shit like you kind of want to do as an adult that you would never let your children do. One of the, the things best. that got closed down early was a thing. We called it the Shishka car, but it was like, um, you know how like some restaurants, they put like, like the receipts on like a spike. Mm. It was like cars were like piled up like that. Mm. And you could climb mm. those cars, no harnesses, no safety net, no belts, no nothing. You could just climb that shit. Because we're adults and we take our lives in our own hands. And, uh, yeah, so there's shit like that. Apparently, I mean, it got shut down early because shit like that gets shut down. But, yeah, uh, as far as I know, as far as I know, no one got hurt. But there's like, then it's getting later and the people are getting weirder. So let's just, <laughs> let's just put a lid on this right away. Do you not, are you not supposed to traverse when it's nighttime? Is that when all the weirdos show up? Oh, no, no, there's, you can, uh, it's, it's just different. Okay. It's, yeah, the freaks come out at night and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. It's so great. Yeah, you go out in deep play and you can like, well, put it to you this way. If you, when I was walking out on the playa, way out in the like cuz there's the the sea, the 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 C shape, like the this this half circle around the man where everybody camps and stuff, where all the lights are. And then in where there's nobody camping, there's like art installations, stuff like that. And then past that is called Deep Playa, where pff, whatever happens, there's like no plans out there. And I got in a giant duck outfit with lights around the eyes and face and just kind of walked out onto the Deep Playa, waving it's at people. Literally, and, it's, it's great. It's like it's literally like outer space, like the if the if the man is the sun and all the camps are the planets that orbit the sun. You you just go out you go out past Pluto into the eternal darkness and you may never come yeah. back you might just disappear <laughs> you may not there is yeah. there is the there is a boundary though like like the god of boundaries does exist it's called the garbage fence yeah mm -hmm. the garbage fence is way the fuck out there but it's there to catch all the wind blown trash sometimes the sometimes life. the garbage sometimes the garbage the fence collects is humans sometimes it's human mm -hmm. garbage mm -hmm. is what ends mm -hmm. up in the fence yeah. Oh, there's lots of human garbage out there. Let me tell you, um, <laughs> most of, mostly good, but you know, the garbage. Sometimes does get the out wind there. just just blows these trash people right into the right into the fence, and that's where they stay. Yeah. And the funny, like, there's a joke that I'm going to reveal to you guys. Uh oh. That's uh that it's 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 kind of an in joke, and it's been said like for the past I don't know, 15 years. That if you're if you're new there. You go to the garbage, or you don't go to the garbage fence. But if someone tells you that Daft Punk is playing at the trash fence, mm -hmm. that's a thing. It's like <laughs> it's, a thing it's like in hackers. Year. It's like in hackers when they're like, "There's a pool on the roof. There's no fucking pool on the roof." Daft Punk is not exactly there. Window. I see. Yep. I see. Yeah. <laughs> There's like posters. Like people have made posters and shit. It's like Daft Punk at the trash fence tonight, and the new beat like. Year what? The year that I went, the year that I went, some DJs dressed up as Daft Punk and did a Daft Punk DJ set way out in the middle of nowhere as a like kind of haha -ha, we're it's Daft Punk they're playing in it. Yeah. The whole yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, cool. I don't I don't want to take all your stories of uh, of Burning Man. I'm sure you got stories to tell on your stream, so we'll we'll stop you there. No, I was I was fully planning on casting yesterday and I woke up and I was like, "All right, let's go." All right, I'm going to eat some lunch. Then we're going to broadcast and then ate the lunch. And I was out for another 12 fucking hours, not realizing how much catch up or catching up my body needed to do. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, well, while they're working, uh, Dan, I, I have questions for you about dragon quests. Cause I'm real interested in Adam always questions for you, but while, while the overlays are working, we're going to show these off. Cause they might break. They're still a work in progress right now. Adam's been uh, mm -hmm. spinning it up nonstop throughout the, the mm -hmm. beginning of the show. Uh, but this is what they do. 
Uh, so these are, this is all within XSplit. This is, there's no screen grabs or anything here. Uh, we can type whatever we want in the actual uh, roll section of this, but the second we start rolling, it pops up here and does this. Uh, if I change my HP, I lose HP. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, and see and uh all of these numbers up here are adjusted in real time the stats will eventually be in real time as well uh they're not at the moment because things broke and uh barry decided to fix them at last second so we're good we're, there's still some things that we're going to change here we need a fifth player as well we're still working on that so that'll be uh, <laughs> next week um <laughs> but yeah every everything's good we're good and then of course you know we have the map screen still which is just the map in game um but yeah it's it's a long time. It's a long time coming. So I'm, I'm glad that we finally got this shit live. Um, also, we're doing a little bit of spoiling here. Sorry about that, Dan. Uh, but <laughs> the overlays are finally live. It finally, it finally happened. So it's happening. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I do have a question for you, Dan. How is yep. Dragon Quest Eleven? And were you playing the PC version? I was playing the PS4 version because. PC version wasn't out until after my stream started. Okay. Uh, is it still 60? It's out now. Is it still 60 FPS on PS4? 30, unfortunately. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, but it's it's still a very beautiful, pretty game. And the art style, like, doesn't need 60 to be pretty. It's It'd be nice, but it's not, like, necessary. It's it's very pretty looking game. I'm just curious what the, uh, like, how the performance is, right? Like, I, if it runs well, I'll play the PC version. But I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, the PS4 version, it's like, it's a very solid 30. Like, it's not like jumping up and down all the time. Yeah. Um, well, but I haven't played the PC version. I don't know how good of a port it is. Gotcha. Well, how good it's of a game very, is it? Uh, A lot of reviews said that the game is too easy, so you need to, like, turn on the hard mode for monsters. And I've done that, but now the beginning is very brutal, and you have to, like, grind a lot to beat bosses and stuff. Yeah. So it's a, so it's like... Yeah, I can make the beginning okay, or later in the game it'll be easy, or I can do it where it's hard now, and then later it gets easier. But it's definitely it's quite hard. But if you like turn-based combat games, it's turn-based combat. You have parties of up to four people um, with different abilities. It's really fun. I really like it. Yeah. It's supposed the to be story's like, pretty good so far. It's supposed to be like 50 to 80 hours, too. So. Yeah, it says like a full Dragon Quest game. Yeah. That's good. I, I people in chat were saying it runs really well, so I might I might grab it on there and, and check it out. Uh, what else you been playing? And did you did, did you jump into Path of Exile at all? Did you play this league? Yep, I uh, I played a little bit, but then I got sick, so I was out the past couple of days. Gotcha. Is that how, yeah, how was it not was playing Path it. of Exile, Dan? What is that like? Because <laughs> I don't know all what that that's loot, like. All that loot that wasn't being gotten, you know, I just kept like fidgeting like i need to go grind some more yeah here's how i know i was full-blown addicted is on saturday morning when i woke up after a 16-hour stream the first thing i did was price check something right when i woke up the first time at 8 30 a.m which is much earlier than usual and i ran downstairs in my underwear to buy it before it got sold <laughs> <laughs> so, that's just it's just bad as, it's just as bad. long as you're having fun it's not affecting your life in yeah. a bad way, mm -hmm. then it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. Aaron is just, uh, I'm just another person that sleeps and plays video games in the house. I don't, I don't really exist to her anymore <laughs> this past week. So <laughs> she's not too happy about that. But yeah, it's good times. You were also playing a shit ton of WoW as well, right? Yep. I'm yeah. almost exalted with Seventh Legion. So I'll have my Dark Iron Dwarves soon. Is that what you're planning on being? Is you're going to do the faction swap? Yeah. As the, the Dark Iron Dwarves have a really cool ratio where they can, do a uh, one of those mole things to like different parts of the world, like a teleport. Yeah, yeah, it looks and they also look really cool too. I think they look they look cool. The too. best uh, the best races. So, uh, well, cool, cool. Anything else you've been playing? You played some Two Point Hospital, right? Yeah, Two Point Hospital is really fun. If you like uh, theme uh, sim games and like building hospitals and stuff, it's a really fun little game. Okay, I might. I, Co was saying it was good as well. Maybe I'll check. There's there's too many games out right now. Spider Man's out on Friday. That's supposed yeah. to be good. It's this is the like let's put all our games in the last couple months of the year kind of thing. 
Yeah. We had nothing over the past three months, so now we it's all going to be pushed to the end. Yeah. It's always great. Exactly. Exactly. Mr. Adam Coble, what are you up to, sir? It's me. Uh, I've been playing Yakuza 0, which is really fun. I finally got around to, to starting it. Um, I don't know anything. Like, I went in totally blind. I just knew that it was, like, kind of silly and weird. And I've been really impressed and surprised by, like, what a good crime drama it is. Like the, the dramatic, like intense part is like a really good story. And then there's also just like cartloads of horse shit, like just so much silliness. <laughs> I'm playing on PC and there's a really bad, one of my favorite things is playing the claw game. But there's a really bad bug in the PC version where if you're playing above 60 FPS, the claw just like drives into the ground and the whole thing freezes <laughs> and you can't, I have to fucking talk. So the, the, the claw game has not been so much fun, but the rest of the game has been pretty excellent. It's very strange, and I really, I really like that about it. Um, but as you said, like I want to, it's a long game. I really need to like finish it so yeah, that why, I can play Spider Man. Don't start, don't I start play Yakuza Spider Man so bad in the middle of or the beginning of September, Adam. That's just a party foul. What are you doing? I thought I thought it wasn't. I looked and it said it was only like twenty to thirty hours. But I can't stop playing these other dumb. I'm gonna at one point. I'm gonna have to just be like, listen, Adam, stop it. Stop playing the mini games. Just fucking finish the game. But uh, yeah. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty good. I've been playing that. Yeah. Um, but my like my schedule doesn't allow for like a ton of like video game time. I know, so right? I, we do I'll too get... many fucking shows. Like, what? Are, what are? I've got so all these stupid. all this RP all this RPG stuff going on. And like last week we had the faction turn for Far Verona, and I like do prep and stuff for that. And I'm like designing a game, and that takes time. So it's like there's just like a ton of shit going on. But that's okay. I've also yeah. been, I've also been watching uh, Terrace House. I don't know if you've seen this show. Uh, it is adorable, and is I don't know why I haven't show? watched it before. It's a Japanese uh, reality, Japanese reality TV that? show. Maybe Sean and was trying to tell me about that once. Maybe that's where this I'm is from. definitely. Yeah, this definitely feels like a day nine or a wheat thing. Like I, I feel like wheat has definitely seen it. And yeah, I'm I'm just picked a season of it, and I've just been watching it, and it's just so like earnest and adorable, Dodger, and like it? nothing. Nothing bad is happening, and even when people are like angry, they're angry in a really like calm way. It's nice. It's a nice excuse to practice my Japanese. So between that and Yakuza, I've just been thinking about Japan like nonstop. So Zeke, what are we going? Plans, uh -oh. making plans. I think I think we should go in the spring. I think we should wait until it warms up after the winter, and we should go and we should see the cherry blossoms because I think I am in. Like, give me okay. a date. We'll make we'll make plans. I'll start making plans. How long do you want to go for? Uh oh. So go for like how a week how long ten, do you do you think days. will be good? I think we could do if we did a week in Tokyo. I think that would be like, if there's never going to be enough time. But if you just want to do Tokyo, I think a week would cut it. If we wanted to do like Tokyo and somewhere else, we would probably have to extend it. But I think if we don't want to be away too long, probably just like a full week in in Tokyo would be sufficient if we kept busy. Can you guys live right. stream that? Can we get some IRL? Yes, streams? that's that's the plan. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. totally. It's just like, of course, because I want to. I just want to show the internet me showing Zeke all of this stuff. And right, like, Zeke, look. I think everyone that's would Japan. be like, everyone wants to see Z Tokyo react to Zeke, not necessarily Zeke <laughs> exactly. react to Tokyo. Both, both, <laughs> both things, both things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be good. Yeah, it'd be good times. It'd be good times for sure. I'm excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so look out, look out, Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm trying to think if there is. It's been a while since we, it's been like a month since we've done Court of Swords. Farverona is still going. Uh, there will be a new Court of Swords shirt out tomorrow when we launch the merch store alongside the Farverona stuff. So look forward to that. Uh, oh my god, I for, I forgot about that. It's so cool. Yeah. Also, oh my god, I forgot we were doing that. I, I remember the Farverona one, but the Court of Swords one is so good. Yeah, oh I need god. to get uh, Dan and and Zeke's. Although I think I have your addresses, so I'll send you guys a shirt because um, that's launching tomorrow. So we'll get that stuff ordered. Uh, and then the other stuff is we're buying a bunch of stuff for the studio. If you're a patron, you can go watch me and Scoots talk about it for about an hour. But uh, the short of it is we're buying a TriCaster and four robot cameras. Uh, basically, all the stuff that we were in for our live shows, we're just going to buy. Um, so I'm in mm. the, uh, the process of doing that. And uh, hopefully that'll mean that we get more live shows uh for both role play and potentially drop frames and other stuff as well. Um, coming up later this fall as well as early spring. So 
it's a lot of stuff. It's been uh, a long time uh, coming for all the stuff. So I'm, I'm happy to finally start getting the merch out there, start getting the overlays out there, getting all the TriCaster crap. It's a whole lot of crap, but uh, it's finally all happening. So that's cool. Uh, and also what's happening is this segue. Welcome to season five of Court of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you forgot to mention we're... you forgot to mention our new sketch comedy show that we're going to be shooting at your house. Yeah, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, what's it called? Yeah, no, that's what that's it's... what's it called. It's the show is called, <laughs> called what's it called? called. Yeah, no, it's called it's called Critter Get Off the Pod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh there God! Go. The world, Zeke. The world does not need another vaguely D and D themed improv comedy <laughs> night. It just it really doesn't need another one. We have enough. Oh my God! Court of Laughs. Yeah, yep, Court it's laughs. a good one. It's, good. it's nice. It's good. There was Har uh, Verona. There were some interesting roles last night. The first role in the new overlays was a twenty-one twenty-one. The second role in the new overlays was a one and one. I don't know what that means. So I, it's, I was excited and I was like, let's see how excited. Then it rolled two ones and it's just. JP, it just means you have really bad apophenia and you go looking for patterns where there are none. No, Adam, the patterns always exist. You just have to find them. Okay. <laughs> I've, we've all, yeah. Yeah. We've the all thing, seen the, the thing we don't, Adam. The thing that we don't show you in the, in the role play live shows is JP's conspiracy room. It's a, <laughs> it's a hell of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. He's got stockpiles of red yarn like in his garage. <laughs> yeah. Just like and, and every pins. Yeah. Every single streamer on Twitch picture pin lines to every other yeah. streamer. Yeah. It's, Look, it's a they, whole thing. They call me a networker, but I'm really yeah. you know, we're creating <laughs> the network. It's a real thing. It, it I'll show you guys something. If you ever knock on the on the on the door to his office at three in the morning, you'll see a sweaty JP with his hair all like what do you want? I'm almost <laughs> followed the money to the source. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, anyways, uh, Adam, why don't let's get started? Should we play? What yeah, let's going? let's get started. Yeah. So we'll do uh, we'll do goals and and all of the usual stuff uh, after uh, after we do this this introductory this introductory bit. So uh, we fade in on a uh, on a dimly lit uh, room. Uh, we are we are clearly uh, under the ground somewhere. This is a, a sealed chamber. Uh, there is dust hanging uh, in the air, uh, and we can see it because of a light source held in the hand uh, of one uh, Kalimat Alfida. So we see Kalimat. You you have a torch in your hand because you can't see in the dark without it, and uh, you are in this 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 chamber, Kalimat. Um, I want to get a description of you. Do you look different than the last time we saw you? Are you are you garbed differently? Do you have a season five outfit that you were wearing, uh, or do you look the way that we? Uh, well, one we one minor, very minor change is that um, uh, the the torch kind of looks like firelight, but it's actually I actually took I got a new cantrip with my level up, which I just took light, so I wouldn't have to mm. fucking worry about that. Ooh, so, okay, cool. <laughs> So okay. yeah, the the light shows fire ish, but it's not real fire because it's hard to like mm. match, you know, the changing of right, it. Right, like a, a sort of a sort of clear, uh, like magical flame flickering. Uh, mm. Cool. Okay, so you you have this, and uh, and and so you're dressed. You're dressed for for like travel and exploration, right? You're not. This isn't yeah. like you wandered here from a party. You're wearing you're wearing your armor. You have your bag with all your gear. You have your weapons. Right. Uh, and and on Kalimat's face, uh, there is a a look of surprise, uh, maybe terror. Kalimat is clearly looking at something horrifying. The camera quickly pans over to Yoji, and uh, I think Yoji, this is one of these kind of Zack Snyder like quick pans in slow motion. So you you know you're like drawing your weapon, you have your bow. Oh, uh, Yoji, I, are you are you dressed differently than the last time we saw you? I thought you were gonna go with the Mister Manhattan thing where my ass was just. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the thing. Uh, for folks who didn't watch the Patreon video, Yoji is 10 feet tall and made out of solid nuclear energy now. Yeah. Also, his dick is out in every shot. <laughs> you so. know, you just got to let that thing fly. We have a new director, go. and he's just like, you know what? This needs <laughs> needs that big dick energy. So yeah. Yoji is now distur- big. <laughs> disturbingly like a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a gloom blossom. Just yeah, popping right out of that. 
<laughs> so uh, that not being the case at all, uh, Yoji, what do we uh, what do we see? What are you wearing? Are you dressed differently? Are you? Um, no, I think I still have my my same garb on. You can't. I, I have my hood up, so you can't see my face really at all. Um, still mm-hmm. kind of the, the yeah, you have your do you have your mask on? Yeah, yeah, mask is on and and everything. I'm just kind of staring at what uh, what Kali's doing. Okay. Yeah, so same thing. So we get the, the shot of Kalimat. We snap across the room uh, to uh, to Yoji, who is drawing drawing his weapon in slow motion. And then closest to the, the thing that is horrifying everybody uh, is a, a third figure. Uh, Dan, will you, you describe who we see and, and what she looks like, you know, preparing for battle? Same thing, like drawing a weapon. You've been presented with a threat. What do we, what do we see? Um, you see a very strikingly beautiful human-looking woman. Um, her skin is slightly dark with like this bluish tint and she, instead of human eyes, she has these sort of beast like eyes that are glowing, uh, yellow. Um, but she's strikingly beautiful otherwise. And she's wearing a mm-hmm. cloak, um, that's covering most of her body. But when her cloak, uh, is part, you can see this very tight fitting, very beautiful armor that's, it's uh, provides a lot of movement. It's made to, to uh, move like almost like performers would wear to if they needed to like be armored but still move very uh, fluidly. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like great. It's graceful rather than than like solid. Yeah. Yeah. And she's she's grabbing. Uh, she's pulling out her very long, very uh, dark black rapier that she's uh, drawing out, and she has a shield. That's a very small, like almost like a disc, uh, used more to deflect attacks versus uh, pushing against them. Just so she's getting her uh, her sword up over her arm and her shield up like this, get ready to to attack whatever she's seeing. Excellent. Okay, so as we see that, you're the closest one to the threat. The camera pans around you uh, in this this very graceful arc, and we can see finally in the center of the room. Uh, the thing that's got everybody so uh, so startled. There is a sarcophagus, an enormous sarcophagus in the center of the room, uh, on which uh, the emblem of a, of a knight or some kind of warrior uh, you can see, but it's broken in the middle because in the center of the of the sarcophagus, there's been rock broken away, thrown everywhere, and a cluster, but a, like a ten foot, like a cube, sort of a cloud of viscous, dripping eyeballs has emerged from this uh, this sarcophagus uh, and is uh, is floating out into the room. And uh, it, it is uh, absolutely going to try and kill the three of you. We'll get to why you're here and why you're facing a giant cloud of eyeballs uh, in just a second. But for now, uh, let's let's show you this. Let's show you this room. Can I have some dark vision? Let's give you some. Yeah, let's give you some light. So <laughs> dark vision is 60, 60 feet. I believe. I'm gonna click this go. button and see what happens. I don't know. I just oh, okay. You're showing us that. Nice. So yeah, a uh, enormous ten by ten cluster of eyeballs uh, has burst up out of this uh, this ancient sarcophagus and is flooding into the room, uh, dripping. Uh, the eyeballs uh, all unblinking, kind of looking around at you. Uh, let's uh, let's roll initiative, shall we? I'll, uh, I'll clear the turns, and you can go ahead and you can roll your initiative there. Uh, before we do this, should I just uh, yeah. get the get the pain out of the way and roll my hit points? Oh, if you haven't done that yet, yeah. Yeah, please. he didn't level up. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and it's just 1d8. I took another level in Bard in case anybody wants to know. So I'm now level 5 Rogue, level 4 Bard. <laughs> All right. Okay. And this is the important roll, so... Let's make it count. Hey, seven. I'll take it. Nice. Okay. Good. So you got a six. You get plus so one. So fifty-four that. total. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So uh, Jadara, you got a twenty-two, which is good. Quick. Quick on the draw. Drawing your sword, uh, readying to to fight off this swarm of eyes. Uh, Yoji and uh, and Kali might go ahead and roll. Uh, roll your initiative as well, please. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to look. I do something with my initiative. I just have to remember what. Okay. Uh, That's cool. Did you roll already, Dan? Yep. I'll just do this. So then I got a 14. Okay. All right. And-
and Yoji, you got a uh, you got a fourteen for yours. Yes. Okay, I'll just add you manually. Okay, that's fine. All right, so uh, show us show us what you show us what you got, Jadara. The swarm of uh, eyeballs emerges, ready to fight. All right, Jadara. First, uh, she looks at the creature, and her eyes start glowing, uh, glowing uh, bright yellow. And she starts saying something in infernal and curses the uh, target with a hexblade curse. <clears throat> nice. Okay, uh, uh, we'll use a we'll use a purple dot to indicate the the hexblade curse for future targets. Because you can can you only have one targeted at a time, or do you have more? Just I use it once per short rest, and it's uh, just mm -hmm. one target. Okay. Perfect. And so okay. I get bonus damage against the target, um, and also I crit on 19s and 20s. And then if it mm -hmm. dies, I gain HP back. Nice. Okay. So when you do that, when you you throw the devil sign uh, at the uh, the eyeballs, uh, they all as one kind of like rotate to to face you, suddenly like aware of your presence. And uh, and and ready to ready to fight. Though how a cluster of eyeballs is going to hurt you, hard to say. It doesn't seem to have like a yeah. mouth or anything anywhere. Um. Okay. So you do that, and yeah. that's a bonus action. Or bonus action, and then I'm going to okay. go ahead and uh, take two attacks against it. Okay. Seventeen. Is that enough? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's fairly easy to hit. Um. It's a big cloud of eyeballs, so you just lash out. Okay. So. Uh, nice. 12 piercing plus an extra three for the hex. So 15. Nice. Okay. So what does your, uh, what does your sword look like when you, when you swing it? Does it like leave a trail of, of uh, yellow light? Does it uh, sing or hiss in the air? What is the, what is the magic of the, the sword do? Uh, every time it, it hits something, you hear like a searing, uh, searing pain and smoke, a little bit of smoke comes mm. off of the surface or whatever it strikes. And it leaves a trail of. I'm moving so fast with my blade that you just see this trail of smoke coming off of the blade. Because oh, that's so cool. So you're very you're good. hitting it. You're hitting it. You're cutting through some of the eyeballs, and as the liquid inside of them touches your blade, it turns to steam and smoke, and you leave a, a trail of the smoke behind you. Oh, that's so cool. Rad. Yeah. Okay, take take another swing at the thing. All right, and then oh, we crit. crit. <laughs> nice. So. Nine plus nine plus. Oh my god! Uh, the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nine plus twenty-four. <laughs> so you can do it in uh, in roll twenty too. So you can go like roll, and then instead of dice, you can just put the numbers, and then it'll add it All up. Right, for so you. yeah, it's thirty uh thirty-four damage crit. Nice. Okay. So the your your swings the the magic the the necrotizing energy of the rapier uh is is definitely having its full effect but as this thing is a, a cluster of loosely connected eyeballs uh they they sort of separate as you swing into them and uh you're not you're not connecting as as hard as you would with a, a solid creature yeah. um but still an excellent turn okay great uh yoji what would you like to do uh i'll take my uh my initial shots here um so let me do it's been a while since i played i gotta do trade ambushers so if you take an action you can make additional action oh so i'll just take my three longbow shots um also can we just say that i've uh just added 20 more arrows to my uh, character. Yes, it's okay. been it's been like months. <laughs> so you probably would have thought to to purchase arrows. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Great. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it, it, okay. So yeah, uh, here's first attack. 18. Mm -hmm. Yep. So draw and fire. Lots uh, of little targets. Uh, you know the big old you shoot six it. damage. It's a you shoot it right snaps right enough. in the eye. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second attack, seventeen. Okay. Same thing. Nine damage this time. Okay. And third attack is thirteen. Uh, that one is a miss. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that yeah. was the, so the dread first... ambusher attack, just for everyone. Yeah. The first two, the first two shots snap out directly into the into the cluster of eyes, and you're, you're you know these eyeballs vary in size from like little tiny like fish eyes to big strange like giant squid looking eyes and uh yeah you fired the first two arrows in they um they, they 
burst a couple of these eyeballs, but the thing separates and moves, and the, the third shot sails right through its uh, its center mass. Okay. Uh, do you want to move, or are you okay where you are? Um, I'll hunker down into the corner a little bit more. Okay, sure. All right, uh, Kalimat, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to, and since it's been a, since it's been a while and, uh, I've had some time to really get used to, I still have the blessing of the night mother, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You still have okay. it. It a, don't hesitate too long on that. I don't like, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still have it. Right. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I've become really adept at it and I've kind of, kind of stopped using the short sword. So. I think I have one backup that's not like easily accessible, but the blessing of the night mother is what I use now for everything. Um, mm. Attacking mm. wise. That kind of stuff. So, so do we, do we a, see, do we see that? Like, do you, do, cause this is like the action movie intro for each of the characters. So what do we, yeah. what do we see as an audience that tells us that Kalimat is like more familiar with and more comfortable with this, this blade now? Well, along with this, along with this sleight of hand and, all of his dexterous abilities and stuff. You see, it's it's kind of like, you know how Val Kimmer does that coin trick in every fucking movie that he's in, <laughs> that where the yeah. the coin crawls across his knuckles. It's kind of like that. Like he's doesn't he? It's it's absentmindedly like fiddling with it, but it looks like he's like trying to do tricks with it. It's just flipping over in his hand, and he sees the attack that um, Jadara did, and as he's as he's flipping it around in his hand. He's looking for a space where he can drive it in and make it, you know, do the most damage. And then he mm -hmm. darts forward with like a, just a, a quick jump, slashes, and hopefully, you know, hits as the uh, <laughs> with with the yeah. with the dagger. So it actually looks pretty good. I'm into it, yeah. So um, also, uh, his clothes have become less flowy and more like tightened down. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. uh, less less performance gear like he was used. He's used to being a charlatan, uh, someone who like performs for people and and you know does card tricks and that kind of stuff. Now it's it's more like I want to say it's more like acrobatic um, mm. attire. Okay, something yeah, like that, that makes sense. <clears throat> cool. Okay, um, so he does all that, jumps forward, takes a swing, uh. Oh, with an 11. <laughs> okay, all right. So you, like... you move forward. The thing is flowing towards and around and sort of responding to uh, Jadara as a threat. Uh, and so when you rush towards it, it sort of flows towards her. And you, you take a swing, but don't catch any of the, the central mass of the thing. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a big deuce. Um, yeah. So... I kind of look. I look over. It, uh, like, what is my relationship like with Jadara? Are we? I, we don't. I mean, you don't. I think the two of you don't know. You don't know each other very well. Yoji introduced the two of you. Um. So okay. yeah. For now, you probably we'll haven't known it out that later. long. Yeah, we'll yeah, figure okay. that out. So then, once 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 I take a swing and I miss, I kind of flip it back around and then do like a disengage, like hop back, to to okay. regroup. So that's my bonus action, and the, the end of my move is the move, engage, hit, disengage, hop back. Okay, so move action, attack, and then you, you have a, what do you have a disengage action from? Uh, my, my, uncan or excuse me, my cunning action. Perfect, and then you hop yep. back. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, so uh, the swarm, Adam. the swarm of eyes. Yep. What You can add 12 HP back to the monster. I accidentally had hex calculating in, which I don't have it casted yet. The spell. Ah, okay, cool. So you Thank can add you. That back on. Okay, all right. So, uh, responding to uh, to the the threat with the magic sword uh, that's directly in front of uh, in front of it, uh, the swarm of eyes uh, moves forward, and I think Kalimat and Yoji, uh, you see uh, you see Jadara disappear uh, into its its bulk. So it moves to swarm around her, uh, and then it's gonna and then it's gonna attack. So once it's surrounded you, uh, uh, you uh, uh, Jadara, you you receive its uh, you receive its blessings. So um, let's see, choose one of the two effects. Uh, I think it's going to try to confuse you. Can you make a? It's going to be easy for you. Can you make a charisma saving throw? Okay. Nineteen. Nice. Okay. 
So suddenly it's it's like all over you and it is um the eyes are blinking at you staring into yours. You kind of lose sight of the room. Um but uh you know hearing uh hearing the the sounds of um Kalimat and uh, and Yoji moving in the room help you kind of like recenter and you are uh, you're able to avoid the uh the effects of the of the thing. Um can you make for me real quick a uh at the end of your turn or at the end of its turn a um constitution saving throw for me please. 18. Okay. Cool. So you're fine. Yeah. You're just surrounded by eyeballs uh and it it has not uh, it has not affected you. Now, uh Kalimat uh, before Jadara's next turn, uh, you hear a cracking sound, and off to one side, one of these little lesser uh, altars cracks mm-hmm. open, and a, uh, a russet-colored uh, goo uh, begins to spill out of it. Um, and then, uh, with tendrils uh, at the ready, it <laughs> lunges for you. Okay. So... Uh, a slime emerges from the the cracks in the in the thing, spills out, and then uh, exudes uh, tentacles that lunge out towards you. Uh, and when uh, when it emerges, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Twelve. Okay. All right. So uh, you are frightened. Uh, you take the frightened condition. Uh, something about this this eldritch ooze fills you with a sense of terrible dread. Uh, and, uh, and so you take the, you have the frightened condition, uh, which has a bunch of stuff to do, uh, on your turn. Uh, remember you can resave again at the end of your turn. Um, so it does that. Uh, and then let's see, can you, can you see it? Yeah, you could totally see it, Yoji. Okay. So Yoji, uh, I need you to make a constitution save. Great. I'm, I'm real good at these and especially in that last. Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> Nineteen. Hey, Two of them. Okay, so you feel like like really terrible heartburn, and then it passes. Great. Um, just like real yeah. life. Yeah, exactly. Just like real life. Uh, okay, and now it tries to kill Kalimat uh, with with tendrils. So let's see. Fright. Let's see. The frightened condition uh has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls as long as okay so it doesn't affect your ability to defend yourself so two attacks comes the first one uh which is a uh, 14 so you dodge out of the way and the second one uh is a 10 so you're able to hop back as the thing's tendrils lash out at you and you feel uh full of a deep and powerful eldritch dread uh, yeah, <laughs> as 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 your uh, as the tendrils are slapping out at me, uh, you just you just hear Kalimat just like kind of, it's kind of a shriek, a little bit of a shriek <laughs> because because of the frightened condition, just like ah, don't <laughs> touch me. Yeah, right, it's and it's like it's definitely trying to touch you. It's trying to touch yeah. your it's trying to touch your stuff. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you you jump back. So um, for this turn, at least, and as long as you're frightened, uh, you have disadvantage as long as you can see the thing that is fearing you, and you can't willingly mm-hmm. move closer to it. Gotcha. What would you, uh, uh, Jadara, what are you going to do? You are inside the cloud of eyeballs. You can still kind of see. It's not really blocking your, uh, your, your view. Uh, Jadara, uh, she's her sword, and she just lets out this intense screech, like the top of her lungs, and casts, uh, I cast... Thunderwave rank th- uh, three, which nice. hits everything okay. within a fifteen foot cube for uh, okay. thunder damage. Nice. And you want to aim it, I assume, just like at the because it, it can does thunder, thunderwave pushes, right? Yeah, it pushes ten feet away. Okay. So I want to. Do you want to push, push it this way? Push or the swarm the away here? into the corner, where just away from me, basically. Okay. Yeah. Which uh, which direction do you want to push it diagonally this way or that way? Uh, towards I the wall. It that would way. Be this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So if it fails, it gets pushed. Uh, let's have it make that roll. It is a DC 15 con save. Uh, that's the wrong slime. Here's the right slime. Okay, cool. So it fails the save. Uh, you blast it with uh, the thunder of your, of your voice. So it takes uh, 25 damage. And then you push it. Uh, how, how far? 10 feet? Uh, 10 feet, yeah. Nice. Okay. So five, 
right? So you shove it back away from you. And uh, yeah, Yoji and, uh, and, and Kalima, you see the eyes kind of swarm away and uh, you see Jadara standing there uh, where, the, uh, where the swarm used to be. Uh, do you want to move? Do you have a bonus action? Anything else you want to do? Uh, move back just a little bit. Okay, great. All right, about there. Right. Yeah, so you fall back. Uh, Yoji, your turn. I will... <clears throat> I'm going to help... Uh, can I... I can see the thing, because you made me make a save against the thing on Kalimont, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it. There's a, you know, approximately human-shaped, reddish, like, gloop thing that's poured out of the crack in the sarcophagus. There may be bones floating in it. You can kind of sort of see them. Okay. Uh, I'm move. Whoops. Oh, okay. Look at him. Look at him go. He's coming to get you. Yeah. He's got a little skull. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move over into the corner. I will hunter's mark the thing because I forgot because I'm a bad hunter. Okay. Uh, uh, you want to hunter's mark the little guy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then... I have no idea how to get that text that just popped up to go away. So that's just going to live there for a little while. That might. Okay. Lives hey, look at that. It's oh, my out. goodness. It's a fucking wow. fade out. I juked. All. I knew that was going to happen. Um, <laughs> so let's do the attack with the longbow. 12. It's a mess, isn't it? Uh, on the <laughs> little, little one. Um, uh, no, that's a hit. Oh. Yeah, this thing isn't quite as it's more like together, so its its body is easier to, to take ten shots at. plus an additional five. And then okay, so 15, second, 15 piercing. Yeah, second attack is a crit, Adam. Ooh, it's a what's crit. up? It's a fucking crit. <laughs> seventeen okay. damage. Nice, and there's seventeen. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay, good work. And hunter's mark only applies to the first shot, right? Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's every time that you do it. Just uh, you do no, no, it is. No, every, it is. Yeah, okay. It literally says an extra one d six every time you hit. Yeah. Oops. Roll d six. So yeah, just let's count that extra one HP. You know. Yeah. You did it. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, Kalimat, it is your turn. Okie dokie. Um, since I I can't I. I feel like see the arrows like winging past me and i i turn back to yoji and i say you got this and i, <laughs> I run over to the eyeball thing because <laughs> i don't want to okay. face this thing yeah well actually it was more like a confirmation and a command like you got this <laughs> around the edge to uh this yeah to that thing um yeah okay. and i'll jump do you do you want to go all the way around or you want to like like slide over the hood of the car here i'm gonna slide over the hood of the car now does that like acrobatics is i mean yeah, make an I'm yeah make an acrobatics shit. roll yeah. yay finally it's something useful all right <laughs> this is where you get a I one want acrobatics you to work. Ass. yeah i know i wanted to work so much there we go hey there you go no problem right. okay so you run slide across the the marble surface the cracked marble surface of this thing land on your feet on the other side weapon ready Web, yeah, web ready, and I take a slice with the with the night mother again. It's like mm -hmm. second time's a charm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is. there we go. Blessing of the night okay. serpent, not night mother. Excuse me. That's right. Um, uh, okay, twenty five hit, and that is let's see. Oh shit. Mm. No one's near it, so no sneak attack. Yep, that's right. You deal, you deal right. the, you deal the, the, sli the piercing damage. The piercing damage. Uh, let me hold on one second. Here, let me see. Yep. Okay. And then I'll add the two d six for psychic blades. It says when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one of your bardic inspiration to deal an extra two d six damage, a uh, psychic damage to that target. You can do so they only can. once per round on your turn. Okay. Do it. Okay, so I will add my 2d6. That. So 19 total. Okay. A 10, 10 psychic, 9, 9 piercing. Okay. All right. Great. And that was 20 feet, you said? Uh, that you have moved, yes. Yep. Okay. So then I will uh, do the same disengage, and I will back up uh, as near to uh, Jadara as I can. Um, so when you fled from the, the sarcophagus slime the first time, um, 
Let me let me double check on disengage because if you did it then you're just like disengaged completely, but I gotta check. I believe well, disengage <laughs> lasts the, the whole round. I think once so, you've yeah. done it. Yeah. Do yeah, yeah. So you disengage from the first guy, run over, stab, and then finish your move. So yeah, see, go ahead see, and move. Press the disengage thing. It'll pop up on the screen. And your character sheet. <laughs> There's a what now? The disengage thing on your character sheet. It'll pop up on the screen so everyone can read it. How do I do that? Just click the little like uh, little chat bubble next to the disengage thing. Do you see it? And there's <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> you said this like that? That's my cutting action. Oh, that that's didn't cutting pop action. Up. Yep. Whatever. That didn't show up. <laughs> Still working on. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, Kalimat. Finish finish your move. So all right, hold on one second. So the disengage was from the slime thing. Disengage would have to be the very first action you took. Otherwise, that oh, okay. slime would have grabbed you as you ran off. Okay, so if I want to finish my move, I will take an attack of opportunity from the eyeball guy. Nope. Disengage oh. is, what it does is you don't disengage from a target. You disengage, and then you don't take attacks of opportunity for the whole rest of the, the turn. Oh, that's how that works. Okay, cool. Perfect. So that's way more powerful than I thought. Okay, excellent. Yeah, disengage is pretty good. Um, okay, uh, so you want to move? Okay. Yes, and let's see. Is that? And I'm okay. There you go. Uh, yeah, you moved fifteen. Okay, fifteen there. feet. There. Boop. So there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Where's the fucking Good. measure thing? Uh, it's a circle with a ruler now, and there's like a bunch of new options and stuff. But anyway, you're good. Okay. Oh All right. wow. So you mm. uh, you're good. All right. So it's gonna move, and it chases you. Oh, make your make your uh, wisdom save at the end of your turn to see if you recover from the slime fear. Right. Thirteen. Uh, you do not I think you are still you're still afraid. Yeah, so you're okay. still afraid of the slime. Uh, and well, then you get gross. surrounded by eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you make a Constitution saving throw as the eyeball swarm <laughs> floats over you? You bet. Eleven. Ooh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cruel a moment here. Uh, you go blind. Uh, so. Oh shit! I can't feel, see anything. That's awesome. Yeah, you feel a, You feel a terrible pain in your head all of a sudden, and your eyeballs feel like they're bulging out of your skull. Uh, and then they they like short out and stop working, and you can just feel these like wet spheres like rubbing up around you, and your your it feels like your eyes are trying to yank themselves out of your face. Um, yeah, it hurts really bad. Uh, this is like, it's like a David Cronenberg movie. Um, what you and, guys don't uh, know, I, I want to, yeah, I to say this to everybody out there in the audience. He, what you're seeing on your screen right here, down below, right here. He has erased that from my screen. <laughs> yeah. I just, I went into your character sheet. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So you're it's surrounded awesome. by, you're surrounded by horrible eyeballs. Um, now, can you make a uh, DC 14 uh, charisma save, please? Oh, come on. This is my good one. Oh, oh come dear. On, okay. Come on. So, uh, you're paralyzed. Uh, oh, nice. You cannot move. You feel your body like uh, seize up and the, the eyeballs just like crawling all over you. Uh, and you, and you, cannot, you cannot move. So I'm gonna just I'm of gonna roll in not. secret because I'm not roll Dan. In secret. Now I, this might catch secret rolls, so you gotta be careful here. Okay. All all it does is it it catches. I added the guy to the initiative before he was on. It grabs GM layer initiative uh, okay. tracking, which is fine. I know that now. Uh, okay, all right. So your whole world right now, Kali Matt, is darkness, horrible eyeball pain, and paralysis. You can't move. You got eyeballs rubbing all over you, and you're 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 stuck in place. Uh, okay, all right. And you're and you're terrified. Uh, actually, you're mm. not you're not affected by your fear because you can't see the thing that you're afraid of anymore. <laughs> okay, so that's fun. Yeah, that makes so sense. that's nice. You're not afraid of that anymore. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, the slime is going to ooze over towards its new targets. Uh, it can move twenty feet, so it will. Uh, Yoji and Jadara, please make a uh, make a saving throw. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom wisdom save for these ones. Oh, this is great. Dan, go ahead. 13. 24. Okay. 
So Jadara, you are afraid of the of the slime. You become frightened of it. Uh, Yoji, you are not frightened. That's right. Uh, though it does target you with its uh, its corrupting attack uh, again. Uh, constitution save. God damn it! Two saves and one thing. I yep. fail. Okay. All right. So this 14. time, this time you're gonna take. Uh, let's see. What what'd you say, Dan? Said it's rolled fourteen. Oh. Okay, you take 16 necrotic damage. Oh, God. Make a note somewhere that this comes off the top of your hit points. Uh, so your max hit points drop by 16. Uh, and the reason for that is you feel that horrible heartburn. We see Yoji pitch over. You grab your legs before you like fall down completely. And you vomit up through your mask, like down over your face and through the holes in your mask, this like reddish-orange liquid. Uh <laughs> from inside you so you're like oh, and it just like comes out and it just like like drips down your face in the front of your shirt and it's the exact same color as the horrible slime oh. uh which then uh lays lays into uh jadara with its tentacles so jadara your uh your ac is 18 do you have do you have any reaction abilities to being attacked jadara, i do, do I take, or... do i take the 16 as well no you don't day. uh it okay. only targets one creature with that attack um, so it's just it's just yeah. making physical attacks on you. I just want to make sure. So I'll roll, then you let me know. Yeah, I will go ahead and use uh, shield. But the, that's reaction. Nice. That plus five okay. AC. Okay. This doesn't help because right. you crit. Doesn't help. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the the slam the slam attack hits you for a lot. Uh, twenty three bludgeoning, and then another twenty seven acid damage. So that's good. Let's watch that. Watch that bar disappear. Yeah, that's a lot. The rolls didn't track in the overlay, but it, yeah. Adam's correct in what he rolled. Yeah. Uh, I'll take that second swing. Yeah. Okay, and then this one uh, is a miss. Okay. All right. So, uh, Jadara, it is your turn. Uh, you are, I think, reasonably uh, frightened uh, of the slime. Uh, you can still attack it because it's next to you. You just can't move. Uh, you can't move away. Um, and uh, you you can hear Kalimat, like, grunting in pain uh, somewhere in the eyeball swarm. Yoji seems fine, though. Mm -hmm. Can we not see your attack rolls there, Adam, on the overlay? Uh, it rolled the uh, first no, rolls. So it didn't roll the crits, though. Yeah, it rolls. It rolls when I roll, like on my own. So, like, if I roll a d twenty, it'll pop up in the overlay. But I'm rolling for the monsters, so that's just the oh, difference okay. between the two. We'll, we'll which will be out. fixed. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. We're in early access right now. Okay, Zeke. You know, I'm, just... I'm not, dude. I'm not disparaging. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking a question. <laughs> I know. I'm clarifying. <laughs> Uh, we so don't see what laugh. you want to do. He laughed after that chat. We, we don't. We just don't see it. <laughs> All right. So what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I think uh, Jadara, sensing that this is really, really bad, just decides <laughs> uh -huh. to fade away with greater nice. visibility. Okay. It, All right. <clears throat> so you you disappear. I'm now invisible for a minute. Uh oh. Okay, I will. I will add that. With a minus one calculation, and it lasts for ten rounds, mm -hmm. starting this turn. And then I'll put a little ninja mask on you, so we know you're invisible. Okay. All right. So Jadara, you disappear. And since I'm invisible, I will move away from the thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, let me see about its senses. Um, it does have blind sight, so it, it can sense your the vibrations of you moving across the floor. So it gets an oh, attack, so but it gets it at a disadvantage. Get yeah. Mm. Uh, unless you want to, I mean, you've taken your action, so you can't you can't disengage. Yeah. Uh, do you so still want to move? I. I will. I guess I will have to stay where I am. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll give you advantage whenever you attack it. Yeah. Okay, I'll just uh, end my turn then and stay where I am. And do I t make another wisdom save? Yes, for the yeah, fear? make another wisdom save. Mm-hmm. Ooh, credit. 
Nice. Okay, you're not afraid of it anymore because you're invisible. <laughs> What's the difference right, between cool. regular invisibility and greater invisibility? I can attack without losing invisibility. Regular invisibility ends when you do stuff. Otherwise, this lasts 10 rounds and you're just invisible. So nice. um, the creatures have to guess. They have to guess normally where <laughs> you're at and then attack that square. Um, and then also um, uh, they have disadvantage against you when you attack. Nice. Uh, okay, Yoji, it's your turn. Uh, you know, I'm just going to keep attacking the thing with my hunter's mark on it. Uh, first shot. Uh, okay. 14. That's a hit. That's a hit. Yep. Mm-hmm. For 13 damage plus a d6, so 15, and okay. second hit is <laughs> six or seven plus, so eight more damage. Okay, all right, you're sinking arrows into this thing. Uh, it is, there's just still a puddle of goo on the floor. Uh, it seems like you're hurting it, but I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kalimat. So am I the only, what? No, he's unless he's, yeah, unless Yoji. Sorry, unless Yoji has more stuff to do. Well, can I see with greater invisibility? Can I see Jadara go invisible? No, no. At you all? see, yeah, you see, you see her turn invisible, right? Okay. You see her like cast the spell and then. Okay. Fade I think it's like you just see me uh, roll my eyes when that happens because <laughs> now I know that thing's coming to attack me most likely. <laughs> and this mm -hmm. is a nor this is a normal thing of Jadara is always just vanished in the thin air sometimes so oh i don't care about you right no i that's what i'm <laughs> saying that like this is a normal right. thing that always happens she got things to do we get in an interesting situation and then you just fucking vanish and i never see you again <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so uh kalimat you are blind <clears throat> and you are uh paralyzed uh with a, a hold let me see i think you can still act i think you just can't move let me double check Okay. Uh, you are paralyzed for the duration, which means, oh, you're incapacitated. So uh, attack rolls have advantage against you. Um, I don't think, I think if you're incapacitated, you can't actually do anything. Nope, can't take actions or reactions. Sorry, buddy. You're, for this turn, you are frozen in place. No all breath weapon. Feel, all you can do is feel your eyeballs hurt. You can make the frightened save at the end of the turn. Well, I'm not frightened anymore because I can't see. You're still frightened. You still have the condition. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. So make it now so that if you can see it again. Okay. Wisdom save, right? Yes, it is a wisdom save. Okay. Nope. I'm still scared as fuck. Okay. As still terrified. So you're, yeah, you're blind. There's horrible things happening to you. You can't move and you know that that horrible slime is out there somewhere. Can I break free of the paralyzation though? Is that another uh, save you or you, you cannot. It has a, a okay. limited time effect. It has a very short term effect, but it's more Got than it. one round. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So I need to see if it's other abilities recharge. So let me roll that first. Five or six, they do. No, they do not. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. So it doesn't get its gaze attack. So all it can do is just occupy the same space as you. So it's going to move over a little bit. Uh, Kalimat, uh, I need you to make another DC 13 constitution saving throw again. Fail. Okay. So <laughs> you feel, uh, I'm going to roll a D8. You're going to take a D8 damage. Uh, you feel like, a, a a pull, like a hard pull. And then there's a, like a tearing and you feel blood like drip down your face all of a sudden. Uh, as your eyeballs are wrenched from your head and uh, join the horrible swarm of eyes. Uh, and so now the, the swarm turns your own eyeballs back at you to, to observe you uh, as your sight has joined into its. Uh, so hold it no on. It's like, that, anything else <laughs> it's like that old joke. It's like, I'm going to take your eyeballs out of your head and shove them up your ass so you can watch me kick your ass. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it yanks it yanks your eyeballs out of your head, and and you just like feel like a horrible pain in your face. Uh, I, I imagine the others hear you scream from within yeah, the swarm uh, <laughs> as your eyeballs get yanked out of your head. Uh, cool. Okay. So the metal. sarcophagus metal. sarcophagus slime uh, it can no longer see uh, Jadara, so it's just gonna move going to move after Kalimat. So, Jerry, you get to make an attack of opportunity with advantage. You hit it. 14. Mm -hmm. Or extra six. 
Okay, so you slash at it as it goes by, uh, and then it it squirms towards uh, squirms towards Yoji. So Yoji, mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, make a uh, make a wisdom save. Okay, eleven. Okay, all right. So you become frightened of it. Okay, so that means I have to run away. Okay. Uh, it just means you can't go any closer to it. Uh, but I'm in a you're, corner. You're already as close. Yes, exactly. So you, you're you're stuck. It's got you pinned in the corner. <laughs> okay. You can move laterally, but like you can move here or here or whatever to get away. You just can't go closer to it, which is fine. Okay. It's just you're automatically already as close to it. Great. So uh, it is going to take a couple of slam attacks on you. So there's one. Uh, that hits four. Three. Jesus. Okay. Twenty thirty one damage. Yeah, the hit's hard. Right. And then the second swing, uh, 14. Yes. yes. You dodge the second one. All right. Jadara, greater invisibility show off. What are you going to do? Uh, I will move up. Will the big slime swarm get a tax opportunity? Is it able to? Are you there, Adam? Uh-oh. Uh oh! Took his eyes as well. <laughs> yeah. Took his mouth. Yeah, uh, he'll sh he'll be back in just a couple of seconds, I would think. Unless he unless he isn't, he's probably wondering. He's probably like scrambling. This is a really awkward time for Adam, and he's scrambling in his apartment. He's checking all of his connections. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> I'm, I keep waiting for that text to occur. Also, Zeke, how's it feel to not have eyes, by the way? Do you think you get them back? Uh, you know, I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know how, uh, how, how powerful and, and would it have to make you feel to put the characters in a situation where they could lose their eyes, like, immediately coming back after a month off. Yeah. Like... Do you think that Adam is that kind of guy? Maybe. That'd be like... I mean, he looks pretty evil right now. Oh, check Skype. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Let's see what he says. He says... Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, let me just give him a new... I'll just give him a new call. We could probably take a break here, and we'll figure it out on the break rather than do this all live. So let's do that. Take a quick break. Zeke's got to figure out what's going on with his eyes. We'll get Adam back, <laughs> and we'll go into uh, part two of just a, a yeah. great, successful start <laughs> to season yeah. five. Just really, and fun. also it'll give us give Dan and I five minutes to um to think of some good uh, blind eyeball puns. Hello, he's well, back. Oh, back. He's back. We're not going to oh, take a break. Like, what, what do you got? <laughs> what's what's your five second eyeball pun right now? I need it. We need what's. <laughs> Oh my God, Jesus. I was in the middle of panicking that I couldn't get back on the call. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah. Listen, yeah. just because you think you're going to lose the fight doesn't mean you need to flip the table and disconnect me. Okay. We can talk about this. <laughs> like yeah, grown ups. <laughs> like, oh, Adam disconnected. <laughs> I guess that we got to start the fight over again. All right. So, anyway, uh, Jadara, it is your turn. What right. are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to bonus action hex uh, the little slime. Okay, so does that does that move does that move your hex from the other one? It's a separate hex. It's the hex okay. spell, not the right. uh, hex yes. curse. It's a different. It's a different thing. Okay. Yeah. So he that he's now hex. Oh, he's a different I'm gonna, marker. I'm gonna uh, right. take attacks against it. Okay. Uh, I have advantage. You have advantage. So, so that's that's a crit. Nice. And so this doubles. Any like if you have other like dice that you're rolling as part of the crit, it doubles those two. Yes. So, so seven plus thirteen, so twenty. Twenty, and then I will go ahead and uh, defensive flourish as well, spending one of my okay. inspirations, um, which will add an extra seven. Uh, it's so it's a uh, seven plus six. Okay. Since I get to double that too. Um, let me add all that up. Nice. Yeah, you know what? Don't don't worry about it. You can add it up for fun, but it's dead. You killed it. <laughs> I killed it. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, there is some question about like your new spells and concentration. So the this thing is the thing behind you is hexed with uh, a hex blade ability, and that's not concentration. And then you have invisibility, which is concentration. Yes. Okay, and then the okay. the other hex is that also concentration or not? I think it is. Let me double check. Uh oh. If it is, then I won't have cast it. Yes, that's what I was thinking. And you you killed it just yeah. with the piercing damage alone, so we can ignore all the necrotic stuff. But yes. All right, so yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So no hex. All right. So uh, keep that spell slot. We'll let you. We'll let you say you never cast it. The second hex, and then you stab the you stab the thing with your rapier. Carry sword free, and it yeah, just kind of turns to goo on the floor. Uh, it turns from this vibrant kind of rust blood color quickly to uh, brown, and then congeals into a, a sort of like slime uh, on the floor. I mean, it was slime. And then, as if it was one movement, the slash, I uh, slash and run towards the other uh, creature, and mm -hmm. swing down through it as with another hit. Nice. Okay. Cool. Or. 21, so they still have advantage. Mm hmm. Yep. So 13 uh, damage to that one. Okay. Cool. All right. And this one has the Hexblade thing on it. Hexblade, yeah. Yeah. So uh, does this deal? It does extra necrotic? I, I put the damage into the damage calculator so we don't have oh, to do it every perfect. time. Okay. So it's just right extra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see it there. Plus one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, Good stuff. Yoji, uh, it is your turn. You're not afraid anymore because the thing you're afraid of is dead. It has turned into a sludge. I mean, Great. Sort of a sludge, but... Uh, I'll, I'll, so if something dies while not on my turn, I can still move Hunter's Mark over to it. Do I have to state when it dies? Um, I think when it dies, you you just you automatically move it, but let me, let me double check. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, but... Uh, if the target drops to zero, use a bonus action on a subsequent turn. Yeah, so, so now okay. you can. Yeah, so bonus action, move uh, Hunter's Mark to it, and then I'll take... Uh, this thing has pretty high AC, if I recall correctly. So I'll just take my normal two shots. Uh, okay. That's a one. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 20, a 20 there you go. The, listen, the test shot worked great. 11 plus... Okay. So 14 total. All right, cool for your second shot. Great. Uh, it's still it's still going, it's still floating. Um, this I just realized this thing doesn't have to. It's not a fiend by any chance, is it? Um, or an I aberration? Don't that it is. It is a. It's a large swarm of tiny aberrations. Okay. Uh, I would have advantage rolls on all this stuff, but I think I've succeeded on all okay. my wisdom. Or, sorry, advantage on wisdom rolls. Uh, to mm, track... Interesting. Okay. Actually, I could just do this. That's all I should go. So you have uh, wisdom, advantage on wisdom, survival checks to track them. Um, yeah, it's tracking, yeah, hunting, it's and all, talking. It's all too, not so. combat yeah. shit for the most part. Not combat stuff. Because, yeah. yeah. Uh, Thanks, the Watson. aberration and fiend, the aberration and fiend thing will, will come in handy uh, shortly. Sure. Um, but for now, uh, I believe your turn is done. Uh, okay, Kalimat, uh, you are uh, no longer uh, no longer paralyzed. Paralysis ends. Okay. You're also no longer frightened of the slime you can no longer see. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to be able to see again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to is go that, into the future and find an old. Is that Chinese a bonus action or is that a? It works action? in a refrigerator, <laughs> and then you, you ask him for eyes, and then he'll give them to you from from the fridge. Um, um, yeah, can I no. I, can I suggest that the monster give me my eyes? You, you certainly could. You could ask. He doesn't have ears to hear you though. Give me my so. eyes back. He does. He does see your point of view, but he can't hear what you have to say. <laughs> oh, it's just as truly blind. All right. Um, <clears throat> so I'm no, I'm no longer paralyzed, but I am still blind. So uh, uh, am I enveloped in this thing? Like, can I feel it yeah, all around? Yeah, me? yeah, it's all it's all, all over right. you. You feel it's disgusting spheroids rubbing on you. Excellent. Well, then I'm just going. I'm just going to lash out with with the uh, with the blessing and see if I can okay. if it 
yeah. finds purchase anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're at disadvantage because you're blind. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Um, is somebody within five feet of it? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. But, like, you don't <laughs> know that? It's, I mean, that's uh, fine. It's, I, but you're blind, what, but you're blind. Rules, so. Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's so right. your your dis your disadvantage means that you can't uh, like you won't get your sneak attack, but you still get yeah. You still get your is twelve gonna work? Uh, a twelve is insufficient to to strike okay. it. Yeah, I like swinging at it, and you can't yeah. like you said can't find purchase. Okay. Uh, so you can move. Do you want to move? Um, no. Okay. Right. I can't. I, so, I mean, if I, if I try and move anywhere, I'm just gonna fall over. So I, as long as there's a monster around me that I can swing at, I'll stay here. <laughs> so the the swarm of eyes has has lost interest in you. Uh, it has what it wants from you, uh, and then moves on. So it uh, it's gonna move forward, um, and it can move. Let me see. It would move towards Yoji, uh, and it moves. 20 feet. So what's funny is it it's only eyes, so it can't see Jadara, but the eyes can't feel. So the eyes that are bumping into and swarming around you, Jadara, don't notice you. It doesn't have nerve endings in its eyeballs. So they just kind of pass around you uh, and swarm over Kalimat. And all these eyes turn inward and start looking at you. And you notice Kalimat's eyeballs floating in the swarm, the optic nerve still like dangling from them. Uh, and then, uh, and now I need you to make a uh, make a Constitution saving throw. Do I get an attack of opportunity? You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to swing at it as it as it passes over and through you. Yep, you hit it. Uh, sixteen. For sixteen. Okay, great. All right. And now I'm making the con so, roll. Uh, Yoji, yep. Yeah, make a make a Constitution roll. Uh, I don't have inspiration, so I'll just roll a nine and fail. Okay. All right. So uh, you are temporarily, uh, for the time being, blinded. Except for the, so that square. Were, what's what's? <laughs> yeah. So that's that square is the square. Like that's the square of space you can remember. It's oh, your okay. it's your okay. fog of it's your fog of war. Gotcha. So uh, yeah, you feel this like oh, this pressure in your head as your eyes begin to bulge, uh, and then a whiteness, uh, and you you go blind. Uh, Jadara, it is your turn. All right. Uh... You, t you look over your shoulder and you see Kalimat and he's just got like blood poured down his face from his empty eye sockets. That looks like that hurts. <laughs> I, I, uh -huh. I run to the, the thing, jump off of it and make a thrusting slap <laughs> into the back of the swarm. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So you, you run towards Kalimat and we're like, oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? And then you just like Ollie off of the, the tomb and then come down with your sword. Uh, nice. Crit. And you're invisible, so you, uh, yeah, you, you get to do the crit. It's a terrible, terrible crit, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, terrible crit. 15. Okay. And then another uh, 12. Okay, good. Uh, on your second attack, uh, you finish the thing off. So you slice through uh, eyeballs popping uh and continue your your whirlwind of attacks uh until the last of the eyeballs sort of thunk, fall to the floor and we can yoji you see uh you see jadara but only because of the the humors the various fluids that are splattered across like her armor and her sword there's like a dripping line of uh, of bloody fluid uh and there's yeah there's just like severed chopped up eyeballs like lying all over the floor and that's it it's dead. You Am I still it. blind? Uh, no, your eyes return to normal. You feel them. We look at uh, when you when you look at you know that scene in uh, Total Recall when Arnold is out on the surface of Mars and his face is all swollen up and his eyeballs are bulging. That's what I'm imagining, but we can't see it because you have your mask on. But your mask is like sticking out from your face, and then yeah, all the pressure starts to recede, and you can you can see again uh, very slowly. Things are a, a bit of a blur. Uh, and then your sight returns. Great. Um, well, I I think I like it takes a second for that to happen, and then I see the probably the first probably hear it before <clears throat> I see it uh, with Kalimont just kind of screaming. What are you doing, Kalimont? What what type of uh... yeah? So the the <laughs> shot cuts to Kalimont, who technically is the least injured. It only apparently it only deals you one d eight damage to have your eyeballs yanked out. 
<laughs> um, and I'm still just a bloody eyeless mess, right? Uh, I mean, yes, you don't have any eyeballs. Okay. That's true. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm, you see him covering, like covering his face like this and the blood is just like leaking and all the, the, the vitreous and all everything that like blows out and you see him just, just heaving. And then like, you see him take his, take his hands away and his eyeless, eyeless head is just looking around. Feely trying to feel out what's going on. Is it dead? Yeah, it's uh, it's dead. Are you dead? Are you okay? I should have warned you that these things do this. <laughs> Seemed important now, but not at the time. It's okay, OG. And you see him smile. It's a little terrifying, is, to to be honest. Yeah, with the with the eyeless sockets, just you see him smile. It doesn't hurt much. Help me find his but, eyes. A priest may be able to restore them. I doubt it. This is this is what I'm owed, or what I owe. This is the least of what I owe. I look down at. The Don't you think, Yoji? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to find your eyes, all right? Just uh, don't wander off, I guess. Just sit right there. Just contemplate and uh, keep to yourself for a second. I look back at Jadara. My eyes are just like super wide. <laughs> and I look down at the giant yeah. pile of eyes. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all they're all kind of like melting and like disintegrating. Kali, you got quick. What, what color are your eyes? By... What? Need a description if you could. I know you're in a lot of pain, but uh, what are we looking for here? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like scoop down and got a giant piece of eye. Kali Mutt's you not here, man. You won't find them. Okay. All right. And even if you did, they don't belong to me now. Okay. It's just some eyes. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> can I make a for perception roll to see if I remember his eye color? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, sure. What, what's the what's the role here? Is it intelligence, history? What are we talking about? It'd be per, it'd be perception. <laughs> okay, it'd be a perception roll to see if you you noticed it. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you remember what Kalimat's eyes look like, but they, they don't seem to have survived the battle. You don't see them like laying around. Hmm. Um, this thing made out of eyes. Can I like, take, can I like just grab an eyeball off of this thing and like rip it from it? Uh, I mean, it's dead, so the eyes are all sort of like like coming apart. Jadara did a fucking number on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Then I think just for maybe like flavor, I just like grab a random eyeball and like put it in front of Kalimot's eyes. Like hold it up, and it's like yeah. a goat's eye or <laughs> <Yeah>. something. <laughs> just take a look. I look back at Jadara and shake my head. I, I don't think, I don't think this is gonna work, Jadara. This, I don't remember specifically what his eyes look like. I. I was just intent on killing the thing. I didn't realize I need his eyes. I'm sorry. Uh, never <laughs> mentioned freaking eyeball monsters. Well, I didn't <laughs> think I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, Kalima, are you doing? You, you still okay over there? I'm fine. I said there's no pain. Well, very little. Yeah, there's just kind of like a numb darkness. Uh, I guess I start walking around the room and looking around the room <laughs> to just see what. Yeah, we're... yeah, yeah. So this this thing was guarding this thing was guarding the the tomb, whatever was in this tomb. But let's take a minute to talk about what you're doing here in general. So this place 
Uh, this place is a tomb for a, a powerful and, and ancient entity, uh, long dead and buried with his secrets. Um, so the, the group of you came here seeking something uh, further into this, deeper into this tomb. You're, you're partway through now. Um, let's do goals, and you can tell me what you're doing here. You can tell me what it is that, you, that you're seeking in this, in, in this tomb, this ancient tomb. Um, so uh, let's, let's go through everybody's uh, goals. You can do some, some short-term. You can do some long-term. We can talk about kind of what you want for your character. Zeke, if you would like to have one of your goals be re restore my <laughs> vision, you can. But if you're just like, nah, fuck, fuck eyes. I don't need eyes. That's also okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So Court of Swords goals. Um, yeah, so Kalimat and, uh, and Yoji, let's, let's start with you. So Yoji. Uh, what do you want your goals to be? Hmm. Um, I think the first thing is, is probably uh, I'm down here retrieving some artifact or something or other. Uh, yeah. So is this, uh, is this a, um, like a, a Mara artifact, an Elder God artifact? Um, is it a like a, a map to something? I don't like, know. I'm, I'm giving you free. I'm giving you free reign to tell me what the what the like the real loot is. Yeah. Um, I think that we just caught wind that there was like a large, um, not community, but like creatures like the ones we just killed were um, were here and and have always kind of been around here, and they're usually drawn to some oh. some sort of artifact down below. Oh. I like, so I like really that. Sure. So, right. So you're following a trail of, of aberrations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So this isn't the first time Jadara and Kalimat that you have fought like strange creatures with Yoji. Yoji has been hunting these creatures from one to another and it's led you to this place. And this place seems to be the thing that is drawing those, uh, those creatures. Yeah. I like it. Okay. So are you here to figure out what it is or like what, what's your, um, what's your reasoning for doing all of that? Like why, why do you want to find out the source of the, of the, the aberrations? Uh, this was basically like a mission given to me by the, the, the cult as it were that, uh, that's, that's how okay. Kali and, and Jadar are here. Like right. I, I think so they, yeah, I think that maybe when we start, when we resume play that we have a quick flashback with me and Kali where he has eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, of... those halcyon days. <laughs> yeah. Halcyon days when we all had eyeballs. Yeah. Okay, I remember those days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where is? Yeah, let's let's just do that, and then you can write. And maybe Kalimat, you you can use this to give an opportunity to write your goal too. So, okay. um, what is it? Where where is that scene? And is it is it just Kalimat this, and Yoji? Yeah. Well, this is right around the fire, right outside of Court of Swords, kind of where we last left off with the group. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm standing, and and maybe. Uh, Berg and Ramus have already gone their their ways, whether it's together or not. I, that's up to them too, as as players and characters. Um, but I think we're standing kind of on the edge of the light of the fire at nighttime, because um, we're getting ready to depart. Because we only travel at night, and uh, I think I I take a step into kind of right where the the edge of the lightness or the the edge of the firelight basically. And uh, turn to Kali and say, I could teach you everything about that weapon and about where I'm from, but you got to make the decision. You got to pass over to the darkness. And I start to like draw a line in the, in the sand with the rapier. That's it? Well, this is, no, this this is more symbolic than anything. You just, I'm just mm. saying. Once you make this cross, you can't. <clears throat> not really any going back. My friend, look at the city. I'm. Already there. I think he says and that. I and I like step turn. across, step across the line, and then mm -hmm. I just kick, kick dust and, and erase it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Zeke, if you're okay with it, I Got think the butt of the rapier just knocks you right in the center of your head and I knock you out. Ooh. That's fine. Okay. okay. You, so you, cr you cross the line and then get sucker punched by Yoji. And then you remember waking up somewhere else later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> all I right. Think that's like so the Yoji flashback will do. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So Yoji, you've been you've been sent to find this this artifact, um, and it's called it's called the Bell of Dark Voices. Uh, you haven't been told anything about it except to follow this trail. It it summons aberrations. It summons creatures to it, uh, and uh, and your your the cult has sent you to find it for them. And you've tracked it to this this place. You don't know what its its purpose is. You don't know what it's for, but you know um, you know that you you've come here to to get it. Uh, so, do you want to make retrieving it one of your one of your goals? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the goal will be follow the trail of the artifact and figure out what the or figure out the purpose for the bell of dark voices is what I'll put. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that can actually be two, right? Follow the trail okay. yeah. to the artifact, and then. Discover the purpose of the Bell of Dark Voices. Okay, cool. Uh, do you know what you want your third goal to be? Um, I, I think... Um, I guess it'll be... It'll be a longer one. But it'll basically mm -hmm. be like, teach Kalimat the... the, the teaching and, and the, the history of the cult mm. and kind of like bring him okay. over into the, into the cult basically. Mm. Right. Okay. Indoctrinate, <laughs> indoctrinate Kalimat. Yeah. That sounds good. Into the ways of the cult. Cool. Nice. They are, they are an ancient cult with many names. Uh, I'll come up with a bunch of them for next time. Sounds good. Uh, okay. So Kalimat, uh, I guess Yoji, like how much, how much have you told Kalimat about like your, your plan and, and Kali, do you want to have a goal related to the bell of dark voices? Um, have you been, has the cult promised you something in exchange for your service? Cause they've got leverage over Yoji, but like, have they promised you something separate? Cause I know what you're after, but I want to see um, how close you are to that. Ken, is there a way that we can that we can tie this most recent turn of events into that? Like, course, can I can yeah, we say yeah, yeah. like I want knowledge of my kind and the ancients, like the ancient dragons of the world, and I want to find them and in return or or my payment will be like this will be trials. Yeah. No, that makes sense for me. Okay. So that is, I want to find out more and I want to like either awaken the ancient dragons of the world, become one of them, something to do with, with power and control and that kind of thing. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's break that down. So the the people that are currently, I don't want to say employing, but like blackmailing, leveraging, guiding mm -hmm. Yoji, uh, and you being drawn along with him, uh, they are they're promising you access. They know something uh, that you that you don't know. So maybe like uh, get what was promised to me by the cult, mm -hmm. right? Or, or like ensure the cult delivers on their promise. Like they've promised to tell you something that will lead you to the next step of your, of your journey. Yep. Okay. So yep. what do you, what do you, how do you want to write that? Like, uh, I think in like ensure make the cult you... do right by their, their end of the deal. Mm, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Make sure um, they so that's one of the deal. Yep. Yep. Okay. There you go. Make sure the cult holds up there into the deal. Uh, one second here. Make the cold. Hold. Oh, my fingers. Okay. It's hard. It's hard to type now. Uh, make the cold hold up. Hold hold up their end of the deal. Take your eyes off um, your fingers. And due to this, due to this new thing, um, I don't know. This might be a little, a little too artsy, 
artsy fartsy or poetic or whatever, but um, I want to. I wrote down find out what lives in the dark. Mm. Um, okay. If there's something to be learned from being blind, I want to find out like what what oh, lives. Oh, cool! Yeah. So like, interesting. Okay, so this you see this as, and this is maybe why you were just kind of like, it's no big deal. I'm just seeing something like something else, like that you yeah. you maybe you expected this. Yeah, <laughs> this is part of this is part of the journey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Zeke, you're you're killing me. I love it. All right, so <laughs> I th- yeah, I think someone within the uh, within the cult would know that, but Yoji wasn't aware that that was something like Kali might be maybe even knew this is going to happen to some degree. Sure. Like, it's just like the sorceress said, yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> you will see only just darkness like before the end. Yeah. 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 He didn't know what it meant. Something like that. Yeah. And he probably didn't share it with me. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, and then, and then um, let's, let's talk, well, let's talk about Jadara a little bit because I want to make sure that Jadara has a chance to like tie some stuff in to, uh, to the, to the other characters. So Jadara, uh, you have the closest tie to the cult given that you were like, a, a were or are a member of said cult. Um, like you're one of, you're one of like the children. Um, and so are you here to like keep an eye on Yoji or like force Yoji to do what he wants? Also, you have a history with him, which we'll talk about later, but, um, yeah. Do you want to talk about your goals? What do you, what do you think right now? I think, um, Jadara, Jadara's, uh, false identity for the charlatan is a member of the cult. That's Mm -hmm. not really her goal. She's, uh, infiltrated the cult over time and has established Mm -hmm. herself as a member of the cult and, they don't. They think she's a part of them, but she's not. Her her goals are different. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. I I wouldn't know okay. that then, because if I knew that, she wouldn't make it out of the. Yeah, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah, either. that's right. So yeah. so Yoji, you you believe you and Kalimat believe Jadara's like fake identity. Yeah. Uh, is this is this is where like multiple identity stuff gets confusing. So is Jadara Shaw your character's real name or your your the name they would know you by? That's the that's my character's name, Jadara Shaw. Um, okay. So do you have another name that's your like fake cult name? Uh the cult name I'll get back to you on that one, but it's it's Yeah, you can you can think on it. Yeah. And and I think that as a as a uh like a demon touched, the cult would treat you with like reverence. Um and so you you can like have like a title or whatever instead of a name, right? It could be like you know, yeah, glorious I think they use, Evan like, princess or whatever. They use words instead of names to protect the people's identities. Uh, mm-hmm. while they're in the cult. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. My goal here is I'm I I'm uh trying to find artifacts of power to yeah. get back at someone super powerful in the court of swords that wronged me a long time ago. And okay. trying to find artifacts and one of them is here. Uh one of them might be here, a a powerful uh weapon to fight back against a person that has really high power in the Court of Swords. So I need nice. something okay. to even it out. Right. So, <laughs> so, so you want to find out. So I guess you want to find out the nature of the Bell of Dark Voices to see if it can if it can serve your purpose, if you can use it as a weapon. Yeah. yeah maybe maybe that we're yeah. both using that same goal then. Discover the natures of the Bell of the Dark. But he has it for his own purposes, and I have it for the cult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want your What do you want your other goals to be? So I guess Kalimat and Yoji, you know Jadara as like a high ranking agent of this of this cult who has been uh, maybe assigned to you or has this relationship with Yoji that you're maybe not Kalimat fully uh, attuned to yet, but that is uh, affecting kind of the situation. So Jadara is the one that's connected to the cult. So uh, my second you have, goal, do you have like yeah? Go my ahead second goal is uh, to. Even my debt with with uh, Yoji, um, a long time mm-hmm. ago, Yoji helped me escape the Court of Swords during a, a, a Court of Coins. A long, during this time of when my group of girls were being slaughtered in the streets, and he helped me escape. And I owe him. Nice. And doing this for him is trying to get even our uh, debt. Yeah, I did right, the same shit right. with Jadara that I'm doing with Kali. Right, and was this like I just now I'm imagining the like the side story of like Jadara and Yoji, and it's like 
adventure and excitement and romance. It's great. It You're was definitely romantic at first, and then he became mm-hmm. interested in the clan and became not romantic. <laughs> you thought I was right. interested because yeah. that's what Jadara does. Is totally. She's worked <laughs> in the quarter corner. She worked as a performer and in a brothel to yep. get secret mm-hmm. men to uh, to find out where the riches were, the artifacts, and then, unfortunately, she did this to the wrong person, and mm. the person got back at and started slaughtering them. That's why she had to escape. Cool. Okay. Great. That sounds good. So you're you you want to make good on your uh, on your debt that you feel like you have to Yoji. Um yeah. okay. Uh and then Kalimat and and or Jadara if you have a third uh, a third goal that you want to uh, you want to use. What do you uh, what do you I want? do. Okay. Uh my third my third goal will not be to get my eyes back. Right. But my third goal will be find a different way to see. Mm, okay. Learn another way of seeing. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it. Okay, and then Jadara, what's your what's your uh, third third goal? Uh escape this place alive. Yeah, easy good one. call. That's a that's a good one. Yeah, an easy one. Sure. Okay. Rad. Cool. All right, everybody's got goals. Excellent. Um so uh yeah, so we now we can kind of like fade back to so what do we see in the in the room the battle is over uh you know your you've your invisibility has faded you're you're visible again uh jadara and uh yeah the tomb the tomb is like cracked open and there's rubble lying all around both the sarcophagi this the sarcophagi over here has a big crack in it the south one the one on the north uh seems to be like a single block of stone with no no cracks uh what's everybody doing when we when we fade back I've probably ripped a portion of my uh, uh, jacket, garb, whatever I'm wearing, um, just like mm-hmm. cloth, and wrapped it around Kalimat's eyes, so he's not. I don't just have to stare at two empty eye sockets. <laughs> yeah, and it's not sanitary. You yeah, gotta... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and I think like to that's where we maybe come back. I'm like, I tie the knot. And I look at him, and he's got like a little blood. So I like kind of smear it off of his cheek <laughs> with my thumb. Yeah. Look at it. Look back. Uh, you, we, this looks pretty good, right? I mean, it looks like he didn't even lose them. <laughs> you know, like he's wearing a cool. I yeah. think you're more attractive this way. Yeah, kind of makes you look like a badass. It does. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've known many a badasses without eyes, and I keep like pumping. I make like. Thumbs up towards Jadar at the keep. Jadar <laughs> wraps her arms around your arm like, like you're a big, strong man. And and for the very first time, like, you you hear Kalimat, like, inhale through his nostrils. And as I, as, as I, the arms are going around me and I'm tying the, the, the blindfold on me. You hear me sniff and go, I can't believe I've never noticed before. What is that? I know that smell. Uh, what does what, what it smell like? It reminds me of a flower. I don't you think told me you, you told me you liked lilacs. That's it. Can't believe I never noticed it before. It's very pleasant. <laughs> Yoji just takes like a and I just like look <laughs> Yeah, I'm not smelling the light I'm smelling this dead corpse of googly fucking eyes over here this <laughs> smells like popped eyeballs in yeah here. it doesn't smell very good i don't know what you're smelling but uh are you good <laughs> you gonna be okay then move forward kalimat or you, you should we turn back well i can move it'll be slow i might run into things but i'll go wherever you'll have me it might be a chore but I hope I won't be completely useless. Uh, like look over at Jadar and put my hands on my hips. 
Should we like do a rope situation here so tie him to one of us so he kind of always knows where we're going or how how's this this could be difficult here maybe we sh maybe we should let him practice walking around with just the blindfold while we rest here for a moment just to let him get used to walking around without <laughs> take eyes. inspiration Zeke <laughs> if you can find your character sheet to click inspiration you have it <laughs> So immersive. Yeah, no, that's right. right. Let's let's go ahead and take a rest here. We'll let him uh, acclimate to the loss of his eyes. The, so, yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Uh, here, I know what we can use for our fire. And I start to like try to burn the thing's corpse that we just killed. Yeah, there isn't really much corpse. Like the eyeballs are just like all kind of goopy. Okay. Um, well, we'll still start the so fire right in now, the corner. Yeah, right now the chamber that you're in, uh, it has the entrance that you came in down the stairs here from the antechamber. So there was an antechamber earlier on uh, with like a, a fountain and it had a complicated like rotating ring puzzle that you had to solve to open the, the, open the entrance to this place. Um, this seems to be uh, the first of, of many crypts. There's a door uh, over on the western wall that's currently closed. Uh, with, uh, ostensibly, given the, the information that you got uh, that, that should lead you down here. Um, and uh, yeah, and then there's these, there's this huge sarcophagus. And when you look at it, like you, you can't really see inside because there's rubble, you could clear it away. But when you look at it, it's like, I mean, if there's a person in there or if there ever was, uh, they're like 20 feet tall. Um, it's a very long, very large sarcophagus. Okay. And then there's two human sized ones, uh, one here and then one over there. Gotcha. Um, the etching on the surface, it's like a, a relief etching of some kind of warrior. Um, she's, uh, she's wearing a coat of uh, like, uh, like chain mail. It's all carved into, into marble, a coat of chain mail. Uh, she has her arms crossed over her, over her chest, and she's holding um, like two knives. Uh, she has a helmet, and she appears to be lying on a bow and a quiver. Um, like she's some kind of warrior. And, uh, yeah, she has a, she's like a normal, uh, like human looking face, but with kind of noble features and you can't quite place at a glance, you can't quite place what, um, like what ethnicity she is. You couldn't, you couldn't pick a court and be like, oh, she's from here. Uh, can I make a history check to see if I know anything else than what you just said? Yeah, described? sure. 17. Okay. Um, so you, I don't think you recognize like her, her armor and her weapons. They seem like out of time in a way, like they're not of any origin that you've ever seen. They're definitely, I can tell you, they're definitely not like court of coins or wands or swords or cups. Um, but they're not like primordial either, like primordial humans before the courts didn't have like decent metallurgy. Uh, so yeah, it's, you, you recognize it as being alien and strange. Um, but she definitely looks human if, you know, much too large. Right. Uh, I think that, yeah, with a 17, I can tell you for sure that you don't recognize, uh, where she's from or any of her stuff. Okay. Um, I think we'd like start a fire here then and, uh, and rested. I can I, I think I see Kalimat walking around. So I described to him the room and everything. And if, if you have questions on, like, if you run your fingers across something, I'll be like, yeah, that's uh, it's one of those crypts, smaller. I don't know what's in it, though, so be careful. Just like that type of banter occurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tomb itself is otherwise um, unadorned. There is some kind of eldritch-looking like etching on the floor, uh, symbols and sigils that, at a glance, you don't recognize. Um, but the walls are just like plain and flat, just like well, well made um, marble uh, facade on top of uh, stone in some places, the marble has cracked, uh, under like shift seismic shifting, uh, of this place. Um, so there's panels of marble that have fallen off and broken, uh, on the floor. Um, and then under it is the granite of the rock in which the, the thing was dug, but it's, it's beautiful and austere in its way. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use some hit dice 
to restore HP. I don't know what everyone. Hey, you want to take a are short these rest? symbols like like are they etched into the like the stone or whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're carved into the okay. into the floor in a big circle around the sarcophagus. So if I feel them and I do comprehend languages, do you think I can get a like an idea of what it's saying? Um, you can cast comprehend languages, yeah, and then you can you can try to examine them during this <laughs> the short rest. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything? Okay. Um, and JP, you get extra D six from Song of Healing on each uh, one or just bar total. Uh, so is Jadara is Jadara singing? Are you singing while you're resting? Like are you humming to yourself? Yeah. What is that what is it's that like? Very just beautiful humming sound. It's like a mother sing humming to a baby as she's rocking her. That mm. kind of like a slow melody just in the background. <clears throat> a very light. Because she doesn't really sing a, a lot overtly. She just sort of hums in the background a lot. Mm. Now cool. Is this, is this, now let me know if this is dumb or whatever, but immediately I hear singing and Kalimat like wants to hum along in harmony, like harmonize with the, with mm. the sound of it. Yeah, I think that, that, yeah, like I start humming and then you start humming and we start harmonizing. It's just without even saying, just do it naturally. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, like I was going to say, we don't even have to look at each other. Yeah. <laughs> so you hear the yeah you hear the sound and you the the two of you are like humming along while this is while this is going on and it's it's yep. very like restful and, and yeah. rejuvenating. Running my hands over the over the eldritch symbols. Okay, um, so I can tell you this that with the the spell in effect, it is not meant to communicate anything. Uh, it is uh, a, a glyph or or like sigil, okay. but it's not uh, it's not intended to communicate semiotic content semantic content okay. anyway uh, neither uh it's not purely decorative but it doesn't mean anything in the way that a language means something sure it's like looking at it like a, a star of david or a cross or something like that yeah yeah okay. adam to clarify how do i get my hp back since it was brought down to 50 is that after time Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, because the the sarcophagus slime zapped you with its corrupting gaze. Uh, let's see. Uh, it re- uh, no, so you will not. the The top is still still, still carved off. Okay, is that just yeah. done with time? So I know. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a long rest. You'll get that back. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> You want to explore to explore anything else in this uh, in this chamber, or would you like to continue on? Um, do I see any remnants of any other aberrations or anything like that? Uh, I think I can actually sense them. Maybe. Uh, don't I have the ability to do that? Yeah, primeval awareness, maybe. Uh, yeah, aberrations and fiends within oh. one mile. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Probably let's just see. tons. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. What's your What's your favorite What's your favorite terrain? Is it underground? Uh. Yes. I'm trying to remember where that's at. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. You sense, uh, you sense there is a uh, there is an aberration near you, uh, like quite quite near you, um, somewhere to the to the north uh, of you. You can sense its presence, though it's dampened. Uh, you feel like it's being, it's like looking through or sensing through a, a cloud of, of fog. Um, and then, uh, in addition. Uh, there is uh, there is a powerful same thing, much more powerful, but much uh, much more like contained down below you. You can feel it below, and then somewhere to the southeast, uh, something not even like a mile, like quite close, but down below, very powerful, and then muted, uh, as if as if you were listening to uh, music, but but the high and the mid are cut out, and you can only hear the bass kind of like throbbing. Yeah, somewhere below you, a powerful a- aberration. Okay, and where did you say the first one was? It said very close. 
Like, yeah, nearby. Yeah, it, like in the room. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe uh, gazing throughout the room. Do I stop on Jadera? Then I'm just like, right? <laughs> not, yeah, not, not her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd, you'd recognize that'd be a familiar presence. Okay. Then I think I just, um, like you see me cast a spell, my eyes glaze over. You guys have seen it before, etc. Where they just kind of fill with uh, pitch black and, um, or at least Jadera sees that. Kalimot doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and you hear me uh, go, uh, I, don't think, I don't think we're alone in here. De definitely not. Something else. There's another one of those things in, maybe inside the crypt. Is the crypt open at all? So there's two... There's like the central sarcophagus. The central crypt is what I'm looking. Yeah, that's that's broken open. Uh, you could clear the rubble and peer inside. And then there's these two smaller side coffins. This one has a big crack in it. Uh, and then the other one is, is still sealed. I'm trying to see if this spell is like a detect magic or something where I can... No, it just says it's near. Okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I clear away some of the rubble from the center sarcophagus. Okay. All right. Um, make like a, make an athletics check. Oh, see if I can do so it. Let's see. And and are you doing this alone or is somebody helping? Uh, I started. Uh, Jader, help me clear this out. I want to see what's in here. Fine. Crit. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm so showing you have off to, I'm help. definitely showing off this. Shit. Like you see, you see some rippling yeah. muscles. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so strong look at me move these rocks yeah okay so uh yeah so this one has a big it's like a big old like crack down the middle uh that that's broken open and so you can uh clear the rubble and you can see that yeah the the central uh mass of the thing has buckled slightly and, and cracked in um and with that check if you want you can like lift and and separate move the 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 lid of the sarcophagus and, and see what's inside. You can do that? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you slide it aside. Uh, inside, uh, there is a, uh, a body. It's wrapped in a gray funeral cloak. Uh, so you can't see its face. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not mummified because it's not like tight, but it's, it's like swaddled in this. There's a human shaped body. And you can see the, the shape of its arms. And you can see a head and a face. And it's giant. It's a 20 foot tall body. It's lying in there. Uh, what type of check is it to discern the creature? Nature. I say, uh, Jada, you know what this is? I... Never seen anything like it. Do you have more than two in nature? <laughs> uh, just one. All right, I'll roll. Fourteen. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it looks, I mean, the, the shape and the, the like structure of it look human. Uh, you would have to uncloak it and look at its bones to, to see any better. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm curious what the fuck this thing is now. Am I getting a stronger sense? Okay. Uh, does... no, okay. no, no. Opening it, opening it doesn't make you feel like you are more exposed to, uh, to this aberrant energy. Okay. Um, so in the before you before you do that, uh, you can see that the 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 body is laying on top of a uh, a, a layer of um, of coins, big ones, small ones, shining in various metallic colors, like thousands of them, like a little like a, a layer of coins on the bottom. Uh, you can also see there are grave goods that are laid out uh, in here, um, uh, but you can't you can't get a look at them. Uh, with her like lying on top of them. I definitely grab one of the coins. Can I date it at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. You pick up a coin, make a history check. Six. Okay. Uh, no, it, it, on one side, it has a uh, similar, um, like etchings or, or, or sort of swirling like sigils as the floor does. Um, and on the other, uh, it has a uh, it has a sign or or a sigil that looks like a 
like a branch. Like it's very, very simple. Um, let me let me draw it for you. So on on one side of the coin, uh, it has this complex sigil. On the other, just a single uh, branch of uh, of raised area that kind of goes like kind of like that. Okay. So just like a branch on one, like uh, no leaves, no berries, but it has this unmistakable sort of branch looking sigil on it. Okay. So is it is it like a soft hard like? Can, I mean, all metals are hard. Uh, this, but. this, the coin, the coin you pick up is platinum. It's a platinum coin. Oh, um, I recognize it to be platinum. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's got that bluish like sheen that that only platinum does. Okay, I like tap it against the sarcophagus and flick it at Jadara. Say, mm -hmm. uh, whoever's buried here must have been important. That's, I mean, you and I know what that is. And I look to Kalima. Yeah, Ka it's Kalima. Platinum. You, you. <laughs> well, no, Ka I mean Kalima. You hear, you hear the unmistakable pinging sound of someone's nail hitting a coin. And it's too light to be gold. <laughs> and they sound impressed. There's a lot Throw here. Throw it to me. Here. Hand it to me. Yeah, no, I'll hand it to you, Kyle. I'm not going to throw the coin. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in your hand. Okay. okay. Yep. I feel it since, I mean, hopefully since... Uh, hold on. What's the... Uh... Oh, yeah. The comprehend language is duration is an hour, just in case there's any, like, words on it. Or something like that. Uh, there I, mean, are I not. feel it. Okay, no words. They're not. But okay. you can make you can make a um you can make an arcana check at disadvantage. Okay. A ten. A ten? Okay. Something something familiar about that branch sigil. You don't know what, but you're like, you feel it and you get that sense of deja vu, but then it then it passes. All right. I basically I I like bite the coin. Just like Okay. Check yeah, like yeah. the hardness. It's it's, of it. re it's it's real. It's like a it's a platinum it's a platinum coin. Okay. It gives a metallic mm. taste in your mouth. Mm. The uh, I think Jadara makes an arcana check on the symbol as well. See okay. if she recognizes it. Fourteen. Yeah, I think you've seen it once before. Uh, it was, um, it was a, uh, a bunch of like twigs that were tied together with, um, with like twine and it was hanging in the window of like an old, like herbalist's shop in a village somewhere once. Maybe when you and Yoji passed through. This might be a very old religion or cult or magic. Well, uh, let's uh, let's bring it with us. Maybe they'll be able to tell us something more about it. I, I... yeah, I mean, there's certainly no shortage of coins. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. And then there's the body, and there may be there may be more if you like cut open the like funereal cocoon. If J Jadar is not next to the thing, I definitely say like that. That was the only one in there. Uh, there's no more coins, so I don't know. I kind of like drape the cloth over it and hide them. <laughs> You're like, that's the only coin in there. And then we hear the like <laughs> sound I'm, of you I'm not stealing sweeping them. coins into your bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm not stealing them at all. I'm trying to hide them. I do know yeah. that she would. Are there right. a lot of them in there, Yoji? Uh, no, this was the only one. I'm straight up lying to you. So if you want me to. You're, a, you're a bad liar. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? There's no more coins in there. I can hear them jingle. Well, there'd be no harm in us taking them. I don't think. All right. Well, I'll be over there when you take them out. I kind of like step off to the side further away. I wouldn't advise well, it. Sometimes well, these old tr treasures are cursed. <laughs> Curse me. If you More? believe in such. You mean? Well, if I'm good for nothing, I can carry things, so... I say load me up. Uh, yeah, I'm, you guys do what you need to. I'm, I'm just over here when uh, whatever happens, happens. I get up and I put my hands on my hips like, where is it? I can hear where it is, but I'm not walking over there without a little bit of a hand. J J Jadara, help him. Fine. I grab you by the arm and... As if you're an elderly gentleman, hold guide you along towards the uh -huh. the 
coins. It set your hand are you, down. Upon are you them. are you wearing any jewelry like rings or bracelets or anything? Uh, no. There's no okay. No fanciness on her like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Do you want to dig through the through the the thing? Are you doing any more with the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'm going to feel through it and hopefully Jadara right. will help me grab yeah. up all the coins. So there's like, I mean, there's there's yeah, thousands of these coins of varying weights. Um, wow. They're, uh, yeah, they're, there's a lot. This person was rich uh, and they were sent to the afterlife with a lot of treasure. Now, this is unusual because one does not often in the current idiom bury someone with their money right? You, once you're dead, you're supposed to have given up all your earthly goods because you want enlightenment. You don't want to be tied to the earth. Burying someone in a big pile of their own money would be, kind of be a fuck you to their ghost, right? Like, oh, you can't let go. Here's all your stuff. So uh, th- that's a bit weird. Finding a corpse surrounded by, by treasure. I know it's a D&D trope, but this is like a weird thing for, for people to do. I mean, also, it's a 20 foot long, you know, eight foot tall corpse holder. So that's a bit weird too. Normally we would, we would this, burn uh, the dead. And this is a known thing for us. Like, I would be able any to say, modern, like, yeah, good. Any any modern religion, this would be this would be weird. Okay. Hmm. Jadara, does this strike you as funny that someone would be buried with the, all of their riches? Well, I don't follow any of your religions, but yes, it would be a little weird. This is not a new practice. This is either very old or very new. Maybe someone was trying to make an affront to the gods. Or maybe someone was trying to buy their way into something, bribe their way. Definitely something very different. It, the size of this body is just unnatural. It's not a giant. It looks like a large human. But surely we'd see them if they they were walking around amongst us. And and I'm feeling around. Is there like a is there like a corpse or bones or? There is. Yeah. There's there's a body. It's wrapped in a a big gray funeral like cloak. Uh, and uh, yeah, they've they've created some kind of like. Um, yeah, like funereal cocoon or or um, call okay. the body. Uh, and yeah, there's more stuff, but she's laying on top of it. Okay, is there a skull? Can I feel like the teeth? Is there any jagged teeth? Do they feel like human? So teeth? there's there's a layer there's a layer of cloth between you and and the the face. So yeah, okay. you can't like if you if you put your hands on it, you feel this like soft gray cloth. But uh, yeah, you can't feel the details of the skull. Okay. I can't actually make out anything different about this body except that in the skull is enormous, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't make anything out except that it's huge with this burial cloth on it. Do you want to cut it off and see what's underneath? <laughs> see no. what's underneath? <laughs> no, I, I think you're, you're adapting very well to your uh, loss of your eyes, Kyle. I like that. But uh, no, we should leave it alone, all right? What uh, <laughs> what's dead is dead. All right. <sighs> <laughs> is that pretty good? That worked out for you. That works. That's great. Callie Mott Murdoch. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> so um, yeah. what do you want to do? I, t- I, st- I take out my, my blade and I kind of start like trying to grab at the sack and cut it open a little bit. Yeah, the easiest the easiest way to get at it would just be to like stick the knife in at the top and just tear down the down the length of the of the body. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll do that then. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. so the the knife uh, are you what are you, are you using um the yes uh, the your, blessing your dagger okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's. I mean, it, it cuts. It cuts into the the fabric 
uh, easily tears uh, from about like the forehead uh, down to the the like sternum because you don't I mean you don't want to go all the way down necessarily but and as everybody's watching uh, Kalimat do this uh, the the body is revealed the body beyond is revealed so inside uh, you see a, a skeletal figure. Um, it's not just a skeleton. The, it has skin that has emaciated down to the, like it's mummified. So skin emaciated down to the, the body. It has a faint, like bluish tinge to it. Uh, the, the lips and, uh, and the face, if she ever had any, have like withdrawn and dried up. So you see her teeth, uh, her canine teeth and the next two in, I think the eye teeth uh, are long and sharp. Uh, she also has two sharp, like lower kind of like fangs, um, her forehead uh, and the the slope of the back of her skull is slightly elongated, not like eerily so, but noticeably so elongated out towards the back. Uh, and there are wisps of whitish, like bluish white hair that are still like clinging to the emaciated skin uh, on her scalp. Um, in her eye sockets, there are two, and she's enormous, right? So there are two big um, uh, sapphires. Two big blue sapphires sitting in her, her eye sockets, just staring up, glittering in the light. Uh, and uh, she's wearing the same uh, shirt of mail uh, that looks like it was newly forged and oiled. Like it's shining, that kind of bluish color that oiled steel has. Uh, so that's laying on her. She's a torque, uh, which is like a hard like necklace, uh, uh, like a choker of gold, a torque of gold uh, with at her throat uh, some kind of like ruby like object. Um, she, uh, she has her arms folded and she has these like long three, uh, three knuckled, uh, fingers. So she has like an extra knuckle. So her fingers are quite long. Uh, and on the backs of her hands, the way that her hands are crossed, you see that branch sigil tattooed. So on, if she had her hands separated, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like, it would be half of the tattoo, but when she has her hands lying in her funeral pose, you can see the branch completed. Um, she has a uh, silver and platinum and um, some kind of like mother of pearl uh, bracelets uh, on both wrists. Um, she has a, a ring, uh, a silver ring on one finger. Uh, and uh, yeah. And then that's where you, you stop as you like cut down to, to that point. Some very lavish jewelry on this woman. She must have been like a queen. Queen of what, though? From I mean, as I feel like her, her head, her face, she is enormous. From off in the corner, you just would you guys leave it alone? All right, it doesn't matter where she's from. She's dead. Let's move on. That's that's right, Yoji. Because more information is never good when you're hunting things. I don't think we're hunting that. And I, I kind of whisper to Jadar, like, must he always live underneath a cloak of ignorance? <laughs> he is ignorant and ignorance incarnate. What was that? Huh? You guys getting <laughs> smart over there? We think it's maybe that like a few generations old. Or we're trying to yeah. eat it. Yeah, I bet. You two are making me older over here by every fucking second. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel I feel the the teeth, and I feel mm -hmm. are the ears pointed? Uh, I, well, I mean, if her ears were pointed, uh, it would be like the cartilage would have to survive. Uh, oh right, no, yeah, I sure. think like she's all emaciated. Uh, I think her ears are just kind of like like regular like human shape. I don't think they're pointy. <laughs> This feels like something new. Okay. Hmm. I have no idea. I've never felt anything like this before. Maybe if I climbed on top of it and <laughs> felt it against my skin, maybe then I'd have a better idea of what it is. <laughs> this, this choker around her neck is just so intricately made. It's beautiful. Leave it alone. It's not yours. She was buried with it. You see, uh, you see that in her uh, in her cocoon, she's only she's only been wrapped with the 
the things that she was wearing. Um, but she's lying on, you see like a handle of something kind of like pressing up underneath her behind her shoulder, uh, Jadara. What is this? I, I, yeah, you'd have to, reach you'd have down. to move her. Some, she's lying on something. You want to help me move her and see what she's lying on? No. <laughs> I'll try my best. Where? Which way? Help, yeah, put help, my hands yeah. where you need them. Help them out. Pull, t pull towards yourself to give me leverage to, to yank this out. All right. Okay. So you want to, you just like, you stand on one side of the and like pull at the, at the cocoon to like lift her up so that Jadara can dig around underneath. Yeah. yeah. So the pull out whatever line. she's okay. lying on. Yeah. 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 There's, so there's a couple of things. Um, you lift her, you lift her up and you can see there is a, a bow and the bow is like eight feet tall. It's this huge eight foot tall bow. Um, it's made out of some kind of like pale, uh, pale wood. Uh, etched with uh, silver and platinum. Um, it has I think no before string. he even figures out anything else, <laughs> is, is that a bow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no, you weren't interested in this. No, no, no. I, I, yeah. I used the no, bow. No, go, go scout something. You're, you weren't interested in this. If that's a bow, <laughs> I'm. Uh, you see, you see my, my, my like blindfolded, bloody eyeless face, like looking at you and go. I think this falls under the finder's keepers rules. Yeah. Well, it's going to get a lot of use <laughs> out of use. Yoji, Yoji is already halfway to the next encounter when the need or greed pops up and he just starts mashing need as <laughs> yeah. hard as he can. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So she's, she's laying on, she's, there's, a, there's a bow. Uh, there is a, a quiver, like a leather uh, quiver. Again, like, it's it's very tall with these like long like almost ballista like arrows uh, made of the same white wood but with blue uh, blue and white fletching, um, and the handle that you saw is a mirror, uh, a polished and it, it predates the use of like glass probably because it's just a polished silver like surface. Uh, you can you can see it sticking up out of the coins that she's laying on, um, and yeah there might there might be more stuff but those are the only two things you see. I, I think I I grab most everything I can. I just while he's holding her up, I pull them out from under her body and like try to push it to the side so that way he can let the body back down after I try to like scoop the mirror and then the, the bow to the side of the, the okay. coffin. All right. Um on the back of the on the back of the mirror, because that's the easiest one you pull it out. It's still big, it's like you know, serving platter size. Um on the back of the mirror there is a scene of a um a horse a, like a winged horse but it's got a uh, a serpent like wrapped around its neck and part of its body and the serpent has its fangs out uh and they like the the winged horse is like rearing up on the back um it reflects your 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 face perfectly as if staring into a crystalline lake when you when you look at it as you bring it up um and then, yeah, you can see her, her quiver and her bow lie uh, under the body. And yeah, Kalamad, it's, it's starting to get heavy. Uh, yeah, and uh, as I'm uh, holding it up, are you about finished there? Did you, Yoji, did you, you want to help? Yoji, darling, I need there? a strong man to help me with this bow, if you wouldn't mind. Well, yeah, if I help you, am I getting it? Uh, darling, it's uh, huge, <laughs> but you could try. Uh, I'm losing my grip. Hurry. Oh, my um, all right, all right. Yeah, and I run over, <laughs> help them uh, get all the, the loot out of it. Okay. All right. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I mean, you can run over there, and the only thing that's visible is this bow and, and the quiver. Okay. Yeah. And I, I try and grab it and pull it out of there. Okay. Yeah, either what, whatever is more beneficial, either grabbing that or helping it, helping Kalimop prop it up again so that Jadara can grab it. Uh. Yeah, I mean that's that's up to you. If you want to like, if you give Kalimata a hand, Jadara can spend the time that she needs to like rummage around in there and find whatever else there is besides coins. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And do that. Okay. All right. So Kalimata, uh, you feel Yoji like come up beside you and uh, help you. The <sighs> the burden becomes lesser. Um, okay. So so yeah, uh, she obviously has. She's covered in in all of her like her riches and what have you. There's this this bow, and there are there's a quiver of twenty arrows. Um, 
and uh, there are some other uh, some other goods. There is a um, there's like a rolled uh, uh, like a tapestry that looks like it's pretty well preserved. Um, there are uh, offerings of like like the, there's a golden cup and uh, some other jewelry uh, like plate metal plates, um, various like necklaces and bracelets. Though like it's a rope of gold, what would be a necklace for her? Um, and I think you find uh, among the among the the stuff you find a um, a bottle, kind of bottle. It's I don't know about as long as your forearm, uh, like a wine bottle, uh, and it is uh, like a crystal bottle with some kind of like when you pick it up, you feel the contents shift, the weight of it shift. There's definitely some some fluid in there. Well, I think I'm done rummaging. All right, let it go. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we let it. Yep, let it go. Okay. Well, what do we have? Well, this we have this bow's quiver, but they are quite large, Calamot. I mean, uh, Yoji, can you hold such a thing? It's quite big. Yeah, and Yoji, it's it's like the the tallest one of the tallest bows you've ever seen. Like for you to use it uh would be a bit of a challenge, but you certainly could uh could use it. Um it'd be difficult though. I think that's the first you, like, thing had time like, to practice. Yeah. I think that's the first thing. Like I look at it, see if I can use it, but then I also like I want to make an intelligence check to see if I know where that where that bow's from. Like if it's just a bow made for the stature of the person or if there's any thing special about it that I would know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could, uh, you could make a, um, history. Uh, like what? So yeah, like history, if you want to try to recognize the bow itself, try to recognize the type of bow that it is. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I rolled a five. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like, it looks like a footman's bow, just like scaled way up. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's kind of big, and, but yeah. Yeah, holding it in your hands, holding it in your hands, like it's balanced, it's weighted perfectly. Um, the string that would normally be on it, uh, you know, you're an archer, you don't keep the bow strung all the time, you don't use it. Yeah. So you would think you look, you look in the quiver, and it is curled up at the bottom of the coil up in the bottom of the quiver. Uh, there are these twenty arrows that are, you know, too <laughs> much too tall uh, for you for you to use, but you can sense its magic just by holding it. Yeah, uh, I think this could work. I think this could work. Uh, what's in that? Uh, what's in that vial? I think it's like Jadara <laughs> looks down at the vial. I start putting the bow in my back, <laughs> take the quiver and everything. I think Jadara is like just looking through the glass to see what she can see inside of there. Yeah. Um. So when you agitate it, when you like let it flop around a little bit, uh, you notice it starts to glow. Uh, just a little, uh, faint blue glow. Um, you, you imagine if, if you didn't have Kalimat's light, it would probably illuminate like a little bit around you. Um, and you figure there's probably like three, like doses, three vials worth of whatever this bluish fluid is. Some kind of potion or I'd have to study it more, but definitely some sort of Ocean. I don't know what it does. Yeah, don't uh, don't drink that till you know. Hand hand it to me. That would be a bad idea. Hand it to me. Promise you won't drink it. Promise. All right. Hand it to you. I grab the bottle. Mm -hmm. I kind of turn towards the sound of their voices wherever they're coming from. Collie. Yep. I think. I think I need a closer look at this. And then I, I take out those, those glasses that I have and I put them on over the bandage. Mm. <laughs> nah, I still don't know. Still, and you hear him start <laughs> chuckling at his own joke. Like, it's hilarious. Yeah, and they're both just, you can't see them, but they're both just looking at each other like... <laughs> uh... Hey, uh... <laughs> Collier, I think dude. he's going through shock. Yeah, that, maybe... You don't need those, do you? What? Why? 
Would you say that? We don't have eyes, Kali. So Ugh. fine. I'll give them back. And I flip them. I flip them to the sound of his yes. voice. Check him. I catch him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if if uh, fortune favors you one day and you could see again, I'll gladly give it back. But <sighs> well, all right. What is it? Uh, what am I holding? By the way. I mean, you can you can feel it like it's uh, mostly full. Feels like about the size of like a small wine oh, bottle. No, no. Um, I, I'm actually wine. asking Jadara. Yeah. And then yeah, and so when you ask Jadara, I'm just yeah. telling you what you you can feel. Yeah. Oh sure sure sure. Yeah. Glass of vial with, with a, like a bluish liquid that kind of glows a bit when you move it. Mm. I kind of feel it. Does it have like a cork or like like a, a stopper um, or some sort? It's it's sealed with wax. Okay. Mm. I would hold it out. I was going to try and smell it if I could, but I don't want to break the wax seal on it. Does anyone want this? Well, yeah, one of, one of us will take care of it, Kali. Yes, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How about we... <laughs> um, all the did you like scoop all of the coins out, Colleen? and they're just like littered on the floor? Not yet. Okay. Uh I mean just so everything's nice and fair here, why don't Collie you want to scoop all those coins out? We'll just put them in your pouch. Count them later. There is a lot of them. That is going to account for a lot of weight. I say we separate out the ones that are the most valuable of the coins and leave the rest. That might take some time. But, uh, well, a lot of time for me. Yeah. No, you wouldn't be doing <laughs> any to, of that. I, I have to listen to each one individually and put it in my, put it in my pouch. Yeah. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do any of that. We, we'd take care of that. Uh, all right. I look towards like Jadar. Should we just rummage through it, find the valuable ones? I mean, I, I sense something close still. Maybe we just take the rings and the jewelry. Those okay. would be the easiest and also the most valuable. All right. I felt th- something around the neck and around the fingers and stuff, so there's stuff there. Yeah. I never thought I'd be a grave robber one day, and I, like, reach back into the sarcophagus. Uh, we're a little bit well, that's another break, by the way, so if we want to oh, okay. here. Yeah, so, I mean, if you guys, if you guys want to spend... I know I just, like, totally lost track. If you want to spend the next little bit, like, taking all the treasure off of the corpse, then you're welcome to do so. I will, I will tally it up and let you know what you can get. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what we do. Okay. Um, and we'll also take a quick break. Because we went so long on this part, part two is probably going to be a little bit shorter. So uh, yeah. if you're wondering why it is, that's why. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with part two of week 85 of Court of Swords. And we start of season five. I'll say that much. 84. There you go. Uh, we'll be right back <laughs> with more right after this. We'll see you then. <laughs> 